Alright guys, the new save is... Oh, you thought... You didn't hear me? Wait, you guys didn't hear that? Did I lag out or something? Dude, that's crazy. Oh, that sucks. Did I lag? Oh, that's a really... I mean, my computer's been having some problems recently. You know, I think we might have lagged a little bit. Thank you guys for all the subs. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you every single one of you for supporting the channel and what we do. Very exciting things on the way, including what our save is. I did not lag out. If you're new to Twitch, I'm just messing with you. All right, chat. You got to get it out now. I'm going to be looking to see if somebody guesses it right, but this is your chance. This is your chance to put it on the historical record that you guessed what the save was. Put it in the chat. Where are we going? I'll let you know if I see it. Just kidding. I'm looking, though. I'm looking. Dude, this might be the fastest I've ever seen the chat move in my entire life. I can't even, I barely read this nonsense. You guys are crazy. Is there a team called Penguins FC? If so, that's awesome. Shout out to you. Well, hey, if you guessed it right, you're going to look like an absolute genius. If you guessed it right, you're going to look like an absolute genius. Because look at all these people that are probably guessing it wrong. But I love the enthusiasm. Because you might just figure it out in time. The new save is today. Our new journey to hopefully football manager greatness in a game that at least, you know, right now, I really like. A game that I really think is, is freaking awesome. So hopefully I think that at the end of the game cycle. But um, right now I think it's a great game. All right. You guys have gotten your guesses in. I'm sure everybody's going to keep guessing, trying to figure out what it is. I'm really curious. Is this, is this Penguins FC actually a team? I saw somebody guess a team named Penguins FC. Anywhere with lean registration rules? Wow. 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 Bro. Do you really think I'm that bad? Do you really think I'm that bad? <laughs> I feel so seen. Penguin Football Club. What is this? Oh, the chat's moving. All right, hold on. Penguin Football Club is Australian. Oh, it's in Tasmania. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's in Tasmania. That's neat. Penguin FC is in Tasmania. <laughs> Can you imagine my save announcement is just, we're switching to FIFA. We're never playing football manager again for my own sanity. We're going to FIFA. Can you imagine? I would be tarred and you would tar and feather me, drag me through the public square, throw me up on the wall. Also, I wouldn't want to do that. Overlooking that, though. The, just the, I, dude, I should do that. I can't do it, like, next year, but, like, five years from now, do, like, a giant fake announcement that I'm just playing FIFA and I'm never going to play FM again. That would be really funny. 
That would that would be that would be really funny if I did that. <laughs> Imagine you're good at FIFA. Dude, I won the EAFC launch tournament. The Twitch I won a Twitch Rivals tournament at FIFA. I'm not bad at it. Yeah, what do you think I spent all my time playing before I found Football Manager? What do you think I was wasting my wa wasting is Wasting is a strong word. What do you think I was spending my time doing before I discovered the beauty of Football Manager, right? You rided the competition format? Absolutely. I was playing against professional FIFAers. I got carried hard. But there were people in that tournament losing 21 to nothing. So the fact that I showed up and lost to a former EMLS guy three to two and lost to a guy that 20 and O's weekend league three to one so that my teammate could ball out. I did the best that I could. And it is a fact that I won the tournament. It is also a fact that Flo Cox is way better than me and he was my teammate. Elric, thank you for the six months. Thank you uh, uh, to everybody that has subscribed so far today. Uh, every single person that subscribes, we actually get a higher percentage of that now from Twitch. Every single person that subscribes is, is a part of the reason that we're able to have the editors that we have and make the videos that we make and do stuff like go to the Faroe Islands to make videos. Money comes in, we spend it to make better content, and that's because of you guys. Thank you so much. And enjoy being a part of the Hammers. We're going to do a Save Your Save soon. If you want to be a part of that, if you're subscribed, join the Discord. Make sure your Discord and Twitch accounts are connected. Then you'll get into a, 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 the subscriber section of the Discord. Uh, and when you get to the subscriber section, there's actually a Hampions League that's going to be starting up here now that the full game is out. Uh, and you'll be able to submit your save for SYS if you want to be a part of that. Of course, you'll have access to the Hammer Chat. And when I'm just kind of hanging out gaming, I go into the lounge and you can hang out with uh, hang out with me. Kick it. Five gifted. Oofka, thank you for the five gifted. FM Enjoyer. With the 10 gifted subs from FM Enjoyer. Oofka, thank you for the five. David, Bolsey, Simon. Have him enjoy her, of course, with your own sub. Thank you so much for that. Zebra Strike, thank you for the 10 months. Hi, AJ Gooner, thank you for the 30 months. Bib Brarian, thank you for the prime. Thank you guys so much for the for the subs. Uh, and what a great stream we had today. Um, seriously, what a great stream we had today. It was an honor to, to have all you guys here. Um... Really looking forward to the save. I'll see you guys next time. All right, have a good one. See you guys. I'm just kidding. That was an idea I had. I would just start the stream and then leave. <laughs> oh, man. Taunton 2 electric boogaloo. I am wearing... I am wearing a Taunton jersey right now. And the Taunton jersey is signed by Nick McCooty. That is the Nick McCooty signature. That is, that is the Nick McCooty signature on the Taunton shirt. Is it a hint? No, I, 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 it's not a hint. I'm not giving away any hints, chat. You know, I gotta be honest. In my wildest dreams, chat. In my wildest dreams. When I started streaming Football Manager and streamed for years to like 10 people. Which, I love those 10 people. Thank you so much. In my wildest dreams, I could not have imagined being here. I don't know how many people are here right now, but you, there, there's a lot of you guys here, and it's awesome, and thank you. Best group of people on Twitch. Literally, some of you guys came out to watch me run the marathon on Sunday. 3,000 bots? Wow, my mom really splurged on the bots for this stream, dude. That's crazy. Some of you guys were watching me run the marathon. I had Z on my shirt. 
But I would hear people just go, Zealand! There was a dude with the loan sign. <laughs> At like mile six. I'm still trying to figure out who that was. Come forward, you god. I was literally running, and at mile six, this dude's just standing there like, Zealand! And he's holding a sign that just says loans on it. Everybody's gonna be like, it was me! Fraser, thank you for the 300 bits, dude. Amalera, thank you for the 25 months. I just want you guys to realize how insane it is that this many people have come together uh, in football manager and in search of good vibes and good times to hang out here. And it means a lot. And um, this save is hopefully, you know, every year we go in and go in and we try and do something uh, crazier than we've done the year before. Right. I mean, last year we picked the team that just got promoted into the sixth division of England. Uh, and in 15 years we went on and you know, we won everything that we, we, we could go out to win. Right. Every we we, we you know the year before took a, it had, we we only got through ten years in Austria. We got from the second division with a with a small community club to owning Austria in the Champions League knockouts. We took a shill for the the uh, we, we took a front for the Chinese mob, according to some Twitter mentions. Uh, Oriental Dragon for the fourth tier of Portugal all the way to the Champions League semifinal. We we won the Champions League with Bate Borisov. We beat Bayern Munich with Dortmund. We took a small second division Colombian side to the Copa Libertadores knockouts. What's the next thing we're doing, chat? You already tried to guess. Now I'm going to be straight with you. In about three minutes, you'll probably know. In about three minutes, you'll probably know. See, obviously, I don't want to unveil the save right at the beginning of the stream because that's unfair to people that, you know, I have to see their notifications or whatever. So I don't want to start the stream by telling you the save, but I can tell you it now. The save is... <laughs> Bro thinks he's funny. I do. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. If you could do that right now, you would. But I swear that's the last time I'm going to do it. But if you could do that, well, you would. All right. If you were in my position, if you could do that, you would have done it. All right. You would have done it. All good cats. Thank you for your big batch of gifted subs, brother. I. What was your favorite save that we've ever done? Personally, what was your favorite save that we've ever done, chap? What was your favorite one? And then I want you to think about why it was your favorite. Right? I want you to think about why it was your favorite and how hopefully this could be even better. Taunton, Janetos, Dorfers, Bate. Taunton, Oriental Dragons, the Dwarfs. Dwarfs are natural sprinters. Peacocks are native to England. Oriental Dragons. <laughs> None of them. Nice. Moises Denise. Well, I'm glad that you got Bate because it was the start of it all. Yeah, that's that, that, that's true. Aberdeen, oh, bro's throwing out the beta save. The bro is throwing out the beta save. Okay, all right. I saw somebody. Somebody. Some people already did that. Who's your favorite player? This is a more specific question. But who is your favorite player? Your favorite player in any of the saves. The person that you always liked. Eric Mendez, Vanderhorst, Colombino, Ali Koike. You're sadistic. A lot of McCooties. Hey. Hey. Hey, he's right there. Carolina. I'll oh, respect that. Jao Silva, definitely. Xander Hanneman. All oh, from ODFC. All right. Sebastian Beaver was a real crime. We never got to see how good Sebastian Beaver could be, wasn't it? 
That was a real crime. Jarrell Kwanzaa, how about the fact that he's come good in real life, too? God's power tower. Oh, Nick Lima. Somebody loves red cards. Somebody loves red cards. Oh, you got to love the captain, David Bulow. He lifted more trophies than anybody we've had. Jao Oliveira, Portilla chips. Oh, I think we might still, I think we just recently got rid of the Portilla chips emo. Ketut Satiawan. Oh, oh, Boisen Philander. Bonga Kule Shabalala is definitely in the running for the best name we've ever had. The goalkeeper, Rob Wolpelia. I forgot about Robin Wolpelia, dude. Cameron Ansui was the real king. Oh, he was early taunting God, wasn't he? He was early taunting God. He was so good. Joe Ling. Oh, the perfect song. He had, what was it? Joe Ling, Joe Ling, Joe Ling, Joe Ling. I'm begging you, please don't take my ball. Great ball winning midfielder with an even better song. Knee plong, dude. That is early ODFC. That is incredible. He Shen, we needed, we needed a He Shen shout out. Mateo Mass, thank you. Surprised there wasn't more Jade Nadai's, though. Surprised there wasn't more Jade Nadai's. The mullet bullet Tom Smith. He just had a great nickname, dude. The mullet bullet just had a great nickname. Little Ed Lucas. Oh, I met um, both those guys in real life. <laughs> They were both at uh, Taunton. Harvey, Chisikaru, and Jonas, thank you so much, dude. We had, we had some great songs. Amari Patrick, dude, he only had like one good season. Love that. Where's the James Jimmy Roach love? What was that um, RSS feed? It was Roach, Sheldon, and Campton Sturridge last year, right? It was those three guys. Malachi Reeve, hey, man, he's, he was with the team the entire save. Malachi Reeve was with the team the entire save. Sean McGurk, yeah, he was underrated. Him and Barack Insha, Daniel Aguru. Eric Mendez is, you know, old, early ODFC was a long time ago, so only the OGs are picking up on that. But Eric Mendez was like Nick McCoody before it was cool, you know? He was crazy. Augustus McGiff, one season of Augustus McGiff. I love it. I love it. Ricaro, deserving. Jamal Blackman, the goalkeeper for, uh, for, 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 for F. Hotse. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good shout. The chess, the Chinese Messi. Not even kidding. Somebody sent a jersey to my P.O. box. Chinese national team jersey that just says Chessy on the back. One of my prized possessions. Chinese, the Chinese Messi. Beautiful. Beautiful. Why is it in three minutes? You'd probably know. Vitaly Semenyuk. Well, how long have we been on? Do we feel like, you know, we feel like everybody's here? Because I actually, on, I have the save up. We're already in the save on my computer. We're already in the save on my computer. It's, already, it's right over there. It's right there. There's, you're not going to get any of me scrolling through the different screens like, oh, what are we doing, you know? I'm already in the save. I would like you be able to see it on Steam. I'm not that sloppy. All right. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath, guys. Take a deep breath. All right, are you in and out? Take a deep breath, okay? Is this a, is a big moment? But in order to get where we're going, you know, we've got to remember where we've been. So without further ado, our first FM24 save.
feel like we've missed one here. We should have we, we won the league, and it hurts that we didn't, but you can't win them all. We're going up in third, um, third promotion in, you know, four years. We just won the league, Chet! I'm in the icon section. I'm not a legend yet. We've won it. We tied the record for the most wins in a season. Rakera! No! Oh, it's the 19-year-old with the shot of his life! Just 22 years of age, David Bulo captains his side to a Europa League crown. Taunton Town confirmed massive. We're headed to the Champions League next season with European silverware. Taunton Town from the sixth division to one of the big three English trophies. And Taunton Town have molly walked Liverpool in the FA Cup final. If we win this game, we win the league. It's very simple. And that is a dime for Bahat and Yamu's. Oh, baby! Oh, and it's done! That's it! It's done! It's dusted! Etch it with stencil into the trophy itself. Taunton Town, 15 years ago, just promoted to the sixth division of England. Our champions of all England! This is the biggest match you can play in. This is the Champions League final, baby. Unthinkable! Unfathomable! Impossible! And it has happened! Tom Town have won the Champions League! David Mulo is lifting the trophy! Hey, you. You're finally awake. We're here. <laughs> Name. Uh, Zealand Shannon. Preferred field of work. Um, uh, manager. Do you have any qualifications? N uh, no. Joke's on you! We can go anywhere in the freaking world! Because it's literally me in the game right now! No! Coaching! Qualifications! No! Playing experience! And we will be trying to get to the top of the freaking game! We could be in the Indonesian third division by the end of the stream today. But in the end, we will be coaching some of the biggest clubs in the world, and we will earn our way there. Use this profile, please. Yeah, that looks about right, don't you think? Does that look about right to you? Does that look about right to you? Too high? Yeah, I actually, uh, I actually can't go lower than that. This is the worst. This is the worst that we can uh, be. This is the this is the worst we can be. Oh, baby, give me the song. This is the worst that we can be. Our first job today is to find a job.
All right. So the save, guys. We're starting uh, unemployed. We're starting with zero badges or playing. Or you know, we have we're the worst possible manager you can be in the game. Uh, and we are going to set out to see what we can accomplish. Right. I'm not setting any exact goals. I don't want to just speed run my way to coaching Barcelona. But we are starting out as the worst possible manager in the game. The first team we manage is going to be one of the worst teams in the game because that's the only... We can... So, look. I've got a supercomputer, which means I did speed tests. And we have a database with 183,000 players and the opportunity to you know, have basically almost every league playable that allows us to, uh, to, to, to have a wide range of options as to where we end up. So we could end up anywhere in the world. We can end up anywhere in the world. The Indian League, the Indonesian League, the Hong Kong League, Gibraltar. We could, you know. Now, there are a few leagues that are not playable. Austria. Portugal. The English Lower Leagues, right? Places we've been before that we don't want to go again so soon. But... Obviously, that leaves about 115 leagues in the game that we could end up in. The Canadian Premier League, the MLS, the Australian League, none of which we can get a job in right now. So this is going to be called the career. But we, yeah, so our first job today, chat, is we got to find a job. Uh, real life simulator. Here we go. I got to up our Zoom percentage. I do have the real name fix in, yes, and I do have logo and face packs in as well. Like the professional streamer that I am. Yeah, too real, too real, too real, dude. We got to find a job. Also, huge. How about that edit? Chat, how about that freaking edit? Okay, that edit. Reese, absolute, Reese and Gadget combined to absolutely crush our look back at Taunton was freaking amazing. And that was like a very quick turnaround to animate that from Tom as well, who animated that entire, uh, that, that entire sequence. Did a really good job with that as well. Tremendous edit. See, when you guys subscribe, that allows us to work, you know, to have such a great team. Of, of, of editors. And the more you subscribe, the more time I can give them outside of the editing basement. Okay. <laughs> Tom, Tom's like, yay, more non basement time. Let's go. <laughs> All right, auto save. I'm going to turn auto saves on. We'll do every week 10 file rolling auto save all right guys let's go to the job center Woo! let's open all right jobs untick all of them give me head coach can't do anything else yet so we're just going head coach today johnny for foot locker thank you so much for the 14 months corsita thank you for the prime newcomb thank you for the three months what's my trainer profile what do you uh what do you mean by that Oh, dude, there's no way we can get Peruvian League right off the top. We could go Brazilian Third League. That would be cool. I don't know if we can get that either, though. Because I only have, like, I, think, I mean, I'm from Florida, so they might give me Spanish. No, they just gave me English. Um, I have no badges, and I was a Sunday League player. So I'm really just using my football manager acumen to try and apply to something. <laughs> I'm using, I'm using my football manager acumen. I'm like, did you see what we did with Taunton Sound? Dude, let me manage the Fijian under 23s. Oh, the Uruguayan under 20s? There's no shot I could get. American Samoa. But what if? But what if we became the head coach of American Samoa? I'm just singing out loud here. AOE dude! I love Age of Empires. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs, brother. Club management's much more fun. I don't I mean I know that. I'm just saying like what if we built our resume at the Brunei under 19s, you know? 
I mean, these names are so easy to say. I mean, seriously, guys, it's Mood, Kyrul, Anwar, Mod, Salah, Chuchu. Like, I don't understand what the problem is. Mod, Donize, Siarie, uh, Mod, Mazrani. Maraz, Ma, Maz, Maz, Mazrani. I almost... Dang it! Almost had it. Friggin' simple. Uh, Liechtenstein's under 21s. Could coach them. I mean, I, I don't even know if we can get these jobs, dude. I have no idea. Like, there's no way we could get, like, China's under 19s. We're not, well, we're nothing, right? Like, we are nothing. We are nothing. Apply to all of them. Just, well, wait, well, uh, Besiktas, guys, we're set. We're going to Turkey. Now, uh, Spain, what division is this? Um, well, it looks pretty low. Who Who is the team? Uh, Sevilla. Oh, is this Sevilla's B team? Oh, it's totally Sevilla's B team. Check job security. Now, do these jobs are available. They have a vacancy. All right, so Brazil does have Syria C options open. I mean, okay. This is the top Serbian league, right? It's the top Serbian league, I think. Second? Oh, it's, oh, yeah, that's the second division. I hadn't looked. I was just saying that while I was adjusting the uh, audio. Now, this save is going to be a freaking blast, dude, because this is the first save I've ever done where when we get a job offer from another team, we actually go... You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we do a little... We do a little, ooh. Oh, Bradford City in League 2? No. I'm not going to England. Come on. National 1, is that? All right, we got to figure out what jobs we're going to apply to. Okay. MLS. I mean, I won't get them. Right? Like, this guy is the guy in the running for the job. <laughs> he's a full, full three-star reputation uh, coach. I'm not even going to bother. What about the second division of South Africa? I feel like I could have fun there. Second division of South Africa, the Glad Africa Championship. Please tell me the Black Leopards are hiring. Oh, my goodness, they are. All right. Oh, I can hit apply to all, but I don't really want, like, I don't want to coach the Papua New Guinea under 20s if I can coach the under 23s. You know what I'm saying? Who's South Sudan's hiring? English is a official language of South Sudan. I'm in, boys. They understand what I'm saying. I mean, they're they're only 166th in the world. That's not that bad. They got a dude on uh, Atlanta United, Machop Chol. Okay, pick club. I mean, I have to apply. I don't. I don't. I don't get to pick. The, the club has to choose me. Oh, you know where I could totally go is this is the fourth division of, uh, yeah, is this post-Nord League? And yeah, this is the fourth division of, uh, of Norway. We might be able to talk them into letting us coach them. Uh, Kvik Halden. Oh, dude, I forgot. We're going to be semi-pro, dude. Oh, they're in the middle of the season, too. Summer League, so we would be jumping into the middle of a scene. We'd be playing matches like right now. I'm applying. Kvik Halden. Am I? Oh, I'm like, I'm gun shy. I'm like actually scared. Because I don't know how this works. Finn Harps in Ireland. That's also a Summer League. This is the second division of Ireland. Oh, they're like in fifth. They're professional. Two-star rep. I don't know, like, if we apply, if we're going to lose the chance to apply to other um, other clubs. Uh, okay, so I'm going to batch apply to... I mean, we're not going to get Santos, but, like, what if we did? We're not. Uh, but but the, the B team? The, the second... Okay, no. Um, Ponta, whatever. Uh, the C teams. All right, the Brazilian Surrey C. Is that a national league? Uh, yes, it is. 
It's also a summer league, so we'd be jumping right into matches. I know, no, I know, I know I can apply to a lot of jobs. I know that much. Cusco, are they good? Yeah, they're three stars. They are, they are three stars. All right, I... Let me view the job advert. Looking for a new head coach to be able to guide the team to a mid-table position in League One movie star. We would not be able to get that job. I'm literally me just in the game. Like, I'm not getting a top league job in, um, in frigging Portugal. All right, so we're applying to Norwegian League. Uh, Kvik Alden in the fourth division of Norway. We're going to apply. Apply to be the manager of Kvik Alden. I feel like we can get that job. Fourth division, we can get that job. Um, we're applying to the, are there, is there a league going on? No, it's not. What's the season preview? Who's the best team? <laughs> the one that we probably won't get either way. South Africa, uh, these clubs are going to have way too much rep. Two stars. I mean, they're professional teams. Me getting a professional job would be like, that'd be nuts. Oh, they finished 16th last year. Okay, so they're kind of they're kind of screwed. We might have a shot at these guys. These guys are one and a half stars. Pakamani and Sonzo. Okay. Um okay. Confusing thing. It's the Malaysian second division. It's not the Malaysian third division. Not that that matters a lot, but we could, I mean, is it are they're semi pro? They're ha yeah, they're half star. I mean, that's a job we could get. What about like Indonesia's second league? Well, this looks outstandingly confusing. Semi-professional, Periksat, half star. And then there's, I mean, how good's the top league in Indonesia? Not great. Bayangkara, Prasisi, Indonesia. I mean, okay, what was the, what's the rep of this fourth division team from Norway then? Kvik Halden? Millwall's job's open. Oh, dude, we might not even get that. That's one and a half stars. That might be too good for us. All right, what about these teams? Manaus. Third division in Brazil is two stars. All right, I'm applying. Can I batch apply to all of them? No, I can't. All right. Um, I'm going to apply to Manaus because I know where that is. Uh, I'm going to apply to Altos. I'm just going to write into every Brazilian lower league team. So every Brazilian Serie C team with an opening, we have applied to every single job. I'm not hitting apply hall. Um, we're just going to take a flyer on Santos when in Rome, you know. Second Serbian division, Futbolski Club, Radnički, Belgrad. They're only one star. Oh, and they're semi-pro? Dude, the second division of Serbia is not professional? Well, that might actually... That might actually open the door. Radnički, Belgrad applied for the job. Um, Turkish second league. This team's going to be way too good. There's too much money in Turkey for them to not be professional. Yeah, they're two stars. But the third division teams in Turkey. What is that league history, dude? I, how do I even read this? Sir, I think he's critical. I think we need to call the doctor. Beep. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm a little confused. I mean, these are professional teams though. These are jobs we probably couldn't get. I'll apply though. I would love to manage in the Turkish third division. Um, Premier Nacional second division, right? Right. A second division Argentine club Patronato B1 star or three star with absolutely no chance. You know, I'm going to apply to Cusco just hoping that like 
Peru's broken, and we're able to get a top league job in Peru off the drop, but we probably won't. Um, Segunda Federación Grupo, uh, the Grupos. So, so the, the, the La Liga EA Sports, love that. So this is fourth division in Spain. Sevilla Atletico, that would be coaching the Sevilla team. I'm 99% sure. Yeah, okay. Clubs share the same board. I don't want to coach a B team, man. Campostea. Professional? Yo, is the fourth division of Spain pro? Clearly it is. I think we would be honored to be coaching in the fourth division of Spain, where we're at right now. Olympia Ljubljana, that's a job I'm not getting. They're in Europe. I just watched them in person, actually, lose to a Faroese team. Maybe we're in. I'm applied to Finn Harps in Ireland. Um, is this Romanian second division? Yes. Oh, my goodness. There's, the, the Romanian third division should have a lot of open jobs. That looks rather lively. But the second division in Romania is probably a bridge too far. Two stars. Yikes. Uh, somebody said Bulgaria. There are no Bulgarian league jobs open, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Oh, there is. Spartak Varna. I'm just blind. No, oh, don't listen to me. Is this the top league? You guys are like, is he okay? The short answer, no. Peggy. Well, they're pro, so they're probably too good for us. Gimro. Also professional, just got relegated. Hungarian second division? Come on. I'm not going to get rejected from all of these. Copium. Championnat national, that's third, right? Yeah. We might need fourth division if we're going to get a job. Oh, they're semi-pro, though. Oh, Stade Olympique Cholate is semi-pro. I see you. Okay, um, Croatia, this is the Super Sport Nogometa Liga. That's the second league. Solon, semi-pro, that's what we need. If we could land in a good semi-pro team, that would be freaking ideal, you know? A good semi-pro team that we can work on. V the, the Vitora Liga, that's second division, so these guys are probably semi-pro. Spartak Varna. Apply! We've applied to the Spartak Varna job. National 1, please be semi-pro. Should be. Third division? Young Reds? Wait, are they... Yeah, they're Antwerp's team. Never mind. Um, oh, these, are, these teams are too big. These are in the top division of Korea. We won't get that job. Kashima and Vissel Kobe are the top division of, of that. Okay, so we could go... These are jobs that we actually would probably be favored for. Semi-professional team in the second division of Malaysia, both of them. Sarawak and Malacca. Second division of Malaysia. Dude, we got a chance. We have a legit chance at that, dude. All these other ones are speculative at best. I'm going to try both Indonesian jobs. Persicot and Bayankara. And then we've got our three South African jobs. We're going to apply to all three in the South African second division. All right. I think we've applied to every job. We have a snowball's chance in hell at getting, and we also applied to the Santos job. Merida, they're in the uh, third division of Spain. I figured I'd give it a flyer. West Street, thank you so much for the prime, dude. Thank you to everybody that subscribed today. Fangs Strider, thank you. The Revs will probably hire a dog. You say that, but like coaching an MLS team is coaching an actual team. No offense to the teams we've applied to, but. Okay, uh, these are the jobs that are just open right now that we were able to apply to. So, um, 
Job application received. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Brave New World. Waiting by the phone. <clears throat> Surely they're going to call any minute now. Oh, what? <laughs> the American soccer messenger has called me. Are uh, you open to working abroad? I've always been open to taking a job in a different country. You hear that, clubs? Always been open. Would you be keen on undertaking the role at Sporting KC? Any, any head coach would love to have a crack at that job. Absolutely. Um, I'm not going to be drawn into talk about the NYCFC job, but they're just asking me about that because I'm a coach from the U.S. I have no chance. Now, we'll get a phone call. We'll get a call. We'll get a call. We're going to get a call. Sean, thank you for the eight months, dude. I appreciate the love, man. Now, we're going to get a call. Chat, chat. Where they're going to call. They'll call. They're going to call. They sue me, all right? How did I get rejected that fast, dude? You're, there's no way your interview process is done in less than a day. You're just letting me down easy. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Now they call. It's only been five days. Some people take way longer to text back than that. It's only been six days. See, one of these messages, I was cagey with the media. How am I getting in trouble with it? Our application to Peggy in the Hungarian second division denied. Radniki Beograd, the semi-professional second division Serbian team, denied. The fourth division team in Norway, Kvik Halden, denied. No, what? The top flight Indonesian team rejected us. Cusco from Peru has rejected us. Oh, but we have a job interview from Malacca in the second division of Malaysia. We also have a job interview from Persicot Tegal in the second division of Indonesia. Okay, <clears throat> let's do uh, Malacca first. So what, what country am I in? Malaysia? This is probably a Zoom meeting, let's be honest. Uh, Nur Azmi Ahmad, uh, border please uh, take the time to attend. There are a few questions we would like to ask, of course. Yeah, well, it's great to be here. Let's get started. Uh, you're up for a fair few jobs right now, it seems. Are you hedging your bets? Um, I... Oh, that's a pretty good hard-hitting question there, uh, Nur. <coughs> I admit it doesn't look good if you want me to withdraw from all the others. Well, I don't want to do that. Um, I'm exploring my options, Nur. I'll be honest with you. We don't want to repeat of our last head coach we had to part company uh, with earlier than expected. Are you going to be around for a while? All right, if I answer this question truthfully, I'm probably not going to get a job. If I answer this question truthfully, I'm probably not going to get a job. It's a promise, though. I don't want to...
Hold on. Let me uh, let me look up where they are in the league table on my phone. Oh, they're in first. No, wait, I left the job interview. No, 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 no. What? No. No. Let me go. Let me back. No. Let me. Let me look, boss. Look, I'm sorry. I just looked at my phone one time. I just looked up the league table one time. Okay. I just looked at the league table one time. All right, I just pulled out my phone once. Don't kick me out, okay? I didn't know you guys were like that. No, the must respond is the other job interview, guys. It's the other job interview. Oh, I fumbled it. They were in first. Oh, they were in first place. Oh, it was easy street cred, dude. Bro, oh, fine. Persicat, whatever. Where are you in the league? Persicat, oh, you haven't started? What, do you guys play Winter League? That's probably smart. Indonesia seems pretty hot. Persicat, you're in Indonesian League 2, Group 3, first round? Sure. All right. What's up, dudes? Please don't ask me the same questions. I'm going to have PTSD. Heron Bagas Prakosha, we've invited you so we can put forward our vision for the club and allow you to suggest any alterations for us should we consider hiring you. Cool. I'm considering my options. Same first question. Am I hedging my bets? No, I'm just... Okay. Um, we parted company with our last head coach sooner than much uh, anybody would have anticipated. Wait, uh, wait, uh, now I'm getting a bunch of streamer does to know. You're telling me I can carry on the interview? So what, should I finish this one or do I have to leave? Do it after this one, okay. Yeah, I'll commit to the club. If you say it's only a six month promise, I'll commit to the club for six months. We understand the importance of having the right coaching staff in place. So are you willing to allow, uh, we are willing to allow you to request any changes you would like to make to our current staff. What sort of budget you'd be looking for for those changes? Uh, fair budget, not crazy. Do you have any thoughts on the vision? Work within the play, uh, the payroll, grow the club's reputation, strive to make progress. That's fine. Should you be hired? The expectation is to finish top half of the table. Is that fair? Do you think you'd improve upon that? I have no idea, but this league is so, like, I should be able to do that. Yeah. Agree. We would have a proposed transfer budget of $70,000. Um... Sure. I'm not I'm not in a position to disagree with you at all. Whoa, your wage budget is 1.3 million a year. Cool. Thank you for the prime. I appreciate you. I'd be happy to work with that. That's higher than I thought it would be. Do you have anything for us to consider? I have no request. Okay, leave the meeting. How do I go back to this interview? It's 1.3 million per year for the entire team. That is the wage budget that they gave us. That's as far back as I can go. Chat, why would you do that to me? You got my hopes up, dude. Press club, then boardroom. I just accepted defeat.
All right, whatever. They threw us out. I don't care. You absolute donut. What? What? I'm sorry. I missed the incredibly obvious route back to the freaking interview. What? I forgot my Rolodex, my compass, and my abacus to get myself back into the freaking meeting. Donut. Better have friggin' sprinkles on it. I am hungry. It's because you don't read chat. I read chat, you guys. I love you guys, but you don't make any sense sometimes. You say 45 different things, and my brain is already like that in miniature. So then I have like 4,000 different things flying around. I tried. All I recognize is I see the streamer doesn't know thing, and I'm like, I'm doing something wrong. Dude, these are these jobs are so good. So Compo, uh, Compostela, Cholet's third division, France, fourth division, Spain. Santos was a joke application. This job would be nuts. Fetia Spore in the third division of Turkey is like an actual team. Black Leopards in the second division of South Africa. Milford FC, which is second division South Africa. Vinda FC is second division South Africa. And Manaus is third division Brazil, which is sick. And the reason they're talking to me is because they have four points. <sighs> Bro, and then if you get relegated, we just get relegated out of the game. We would get relegated out of the playable leagues and be managing for our friggin' job. All right, we'll start with the interview at Fatia Spore. Uh, this should be a winter league, so it should not be going on right now. Oh, my dude, I can't click. Okay. So Fatia Spore finished eighth in the league last year. Attend interview. Hi, uh, Isad Bakershi. Uh, Bakurji, um, there are a few questions we'd like to ask you. I can guess the first one. Oh, it's the language question. Are, were you, are you worried about not being able to speak the language? I hope you can see past my current lack of language skills since I could quite conceivably end up learning it at some point. I'm confident I can learn the language quickly. We're going to do all the interviews, chat. We are going to do all the interviews, okay? All of these teams are better options than going to the Indonesian second division because I don't know if we can go any lower in the game than the Indonesian second division. I'm just going to level with you. <sighs> and they made us promise to be there for six months, which, like, fine, but I'm not worried. Soccer transcends language and there won't be any communication problems. I'm confident I can learn the language quickly. I'm considering my options. Um, I will stay there for at least six months. The club's looking to hire a head coach comfortable working with limited resources. Bro, 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 bro. Don't think I have much of a choice in that, honestly. I'll be able to look after the uh, club's finances. Yeah, sure. Uh, th thanks for the advanced warning, guys. As part of our recruitment process, we're willing to allow you to request changes to our current coaching staff. Um... I don't plan on making any changes. Ooh, doesn't that make me look attractive? Huh. Huh. This is a job I shouldn't be able to get, so if I can sweet-talk them into it, that'd be awesome. They have the same goals as the uh, Indonesian club. We're targeting a top-half finish. Um, yeah. Dude, your transfer budget's lower than the Indonesian second division. 11,000? Sure, swell. Oh, their wage budget is $430,000 for the entire year. 
Oh, it's less than half of the Indonesian team. Yeah, it sounds great, dude. Isat, that's brilliant. No other ideas from me. Cool, good Zoom meeting. Okay, Black Leopards from the second division of South Africa. What's up, guys? David Tidiella. Pleased to have taken the time to attend. Yeah, well, of course, I'm glad I could grace you with my presence. Are you worried about not being able to speak the language? Um, like, I know I'm American, but like, y'all speak English in South Africa, right? Just, okay. <clears throat> I'm confident I could learn it. I'm up for a few jobs. I'm considering my options. I'm considering my options. We don't want a repeat of our last head coach. Wow. Everybody wants that promise. Limited resources. Um, I'll do the right thing with the club's money. Oh, they actually have goals. No way. I'll work within the payroll budget, become an established first division team, reach the Ned Bank Cup proper, top half finish in the... Yeah, okay. I can do that. If we're hired, we'd be expect to, to finish clear of the relegation battle. I think I could finish mid-table. I have no idea. I think we'd be able to avoid relegation, though. Hey, your transfer budget's bigger than the Indonesian second division. You're winning. Wage budget is not, though. 623000 for the year. Is there anything you'd like to ask us for before potentially getting the job? Uh, yeah, build a new stadium. No, no, I'm good. <laughs> now the people's champion, Manaus, who are getting absolutely destroyed in the third division of Brazil. Akarini is saying you for the tier one. Uh, the language... Um, should be able to pick up the, uh, bits and pieces pretty easily. Giovanni Elvis da Silva. Can you explain I'm in the running for a lot of jobs? I'm considering my options. I will stay for six months. What makes me the ideal candidate to save a club that's been unexpectedly in the relegation zone all season? My reputation speaks for itself. Does it? Does it really? Does it really speak for itself? I've got the passion, fight, and spirit required. I have the coaching acumen. I have no coaching badges. Uh, we'll give it everything we've got. If that's not good enough, then so be it. Well, that's not an inspiring option. Cooler heads will always prevail, and I know what it takes to avoid relegation. I'm almost offended that you even needed to ask that. Wow. Wow. We'd give it everything to stay up. I'd like to consider myself a strong motivator and leader. When times are hard, it's important to keep spirits as high as possible. Um, Yeah, I'll do that one. How would you feel about working with general manager Fausto Momente? I don't want to click on him, but I'm happy to work with him. Club's vision, avoid relegation, be competitive in the cup. Continue being an established Serie C team. Work within the payroll budget. Yeah, okay. I mean, I get that. No, I think it's I think we can avoid relegation. Yeah, we're only eight points out right now. Oh, the payroll. Bro, it's less than two hundred thousand dollars a year for the whole team. Oh my dude, 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 dude. That's like less than four thousand a week for the whole team. Oh. Oh. Any requests? Yeah, build a new stadium with all that money. All right, who's up next? Milford and Venda. So all the South African teams are super down. I'm considering my options, but you're not going to ask me about the languages. Dude, the, the club Black Leopards must be in a part of South Africa that just like really leans hard into Afrikaans or something. 
I mean, I know there's other languages in South Africa, but I think I can get around. Limited resources? Yeah, I'll look after the finances. Um, avoid relegation. Wow, so many just top class clubs interested in me. You'd be expected to avoid relegation. If I get relegated, I'll be fired. Yeah, okay. Budget 700000 a year. Okay. Nothing else. Thank you, Santi Papuma. And uh, Vin does the last job. We'll see if we can get it. A big obstacle of not speaking the language. Well, you guys too? It's easy. I am considering my options, and I will stay for six months. I can work with limited resources. Uh, you want to... Oh, top half finish. Please tell me your budget's bigger. Please tell me your budget is bigger. Top half finish. Sounds good. Transfer budget's not. 40000 And your wage budget is lower. 644000 a year. Okay, I have no other demands. Tend to Masequa. Your job offer is not looking particularly great right now. Am I set for Milford after the interview? Wait, hold on. Do you have anything to say to the public about your recent interview opportunities? I'm ready to take the next step of my career and have been acting accordingly. All right. Um, oh, there's a few other jobs that have opened up, actually. We've been rejected, of course, from a good number of them. But perhaps it could be worth throwing in an application. Uh, Bukaspor, the other third division Turkish team, already rejected us. I really appreciate that humbling experience. Um, we haven't heard back from Finn Harps yet. I'll apply to Longford Town as well. Um, probably won't get that. Malacca, of course, we 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 got thrown out of the interview room. <sighs> the Uganda national team job is open. Chunan, uh, professional. Hey, you know what? They're actually only one and a half stars. Korean second division would be sick. Korean second division would be choice. Uh, what level league is the Vi Vikos League? Oh, that's top league. Sorry to say that's probably not. Yeah, no, no chance. Probably not in our price range. Now, Levanger in the fourth division of Norway, maybe. All right, applications are in. Um, they've been received. We continue. We've done a few interviews. We could be getting a job soon. I don't know who I want to call me back, honestly. Probably the Turkish team. Nautico said no. Okay, that is, so the most of the Serie C teams and then their uh, third division Spanish team said no. But call, okay, where are you guys? No, oh, they're the other team on four points in the third division of Brazil. <sighs> Oh, tremendous choices, chat. We have tremendous... We're spoiled for choice. Manaus and Confianza are uh, both interviewing us. I'm so flattered. Hi, Claysa. How are you doing? Thank you. Um, I'll learn the language quickly. I'm considering my options. I would stay for six months. What makes me an ideal candidate to save a club unexpectedly struggling? Was it unexpected? Um... I've got the passion, fight, and spirit required to avoid relegation. I'll work with your general manager, fine. Um, finish mid-table? Brother, you've played 12 matches and have four points, and the expectation is to finish mid-table this season? That's a death sentence. Bro. Uh compromise. I they they were they are not willing to compromise. <sighs> um yeah, sure. Sounds great. Ramey to avoid relegation. Yeah, I, I get that. Your payroll budget is way bigger than Manaus, actually. It's literally double Manaus's, like three hundred and eighty thousand a year. 
I have no requests. So I can see where I can see the vision. I can see the vision with that money. I can see the vision with that money. They have double the money of the team they're right next to in the table. I see the vision. I see it with my, my with mine own two eyes. So application of Botafogo. Why? Because you guys are like actually good in the third division of Brazil? That's why? Jerk. Giermont in the second division of Hungary said no. Second division of Bulgaria, Spartak Varna said no. Finn Harps just offered a job interview in the second division of Ireland. Solon, the semi-pro team in the second division of Croatia. Hello, Miroslav Delic. How are you? What time is it over there? Oh, that's so crazy. How we're on a Zoom call and it's like dark over here and it's light over there. That's insane. Yeah, I'll learn the language. I heard Croatian super easy. Very easy language. Very, I'm, it's super easy. I, I can't wait to learn Croatian. Can you explain why you're in the running for a lot of jobs? I'm considering my options. I'll stay six months. Um, grow the club's reputation. Work within the budget. I like how I've realized I can scroll now. Um, look to build a pro on promotion. Top half finish. Win promotion two years from now. Okay. Interesting. Top half finish in the second division of Croatia. Agree. With $10,000 of a transfer. Dude. Watch me go to Indonesia just so I can use that giant wage budget they were throwing around. $185,000 per year is a wage budget. Which is less than $4,000 a week for the entire team. And they're like, yeah, man, in two years, we're going to be up in the Croatian first division. Okay. So Finn Harps is actually very much mid-table in the Irish second division, which is obviously super low level, but that could be fun. You invited along today so we can put forward our vision. Okay, what's up? I'm considering my options. Uh, we've been performing well below expectations, even though we're on our best run of the season. Could you get this team back on track? Um, I back myself to come in and make an immediate difference. I make one or two small adjustments and then enjoy the results. This team doesn't need a radical overhaul. It might, so I don't want to say that. Given the chance, I think I could take the team further. Don't offend me by asking such a foolish question. I would be so afraid to say that to somebody in real life, I might just disapparate if I did. I'm all about motivation. That's why I'll get the job done. Um, I'm ready as soon as you need me. I can take charge right now. They're asking if I wanted to take charge at the end of the season. What sort of budget are you anticipating needing to put together a coaching staff? Uh, small budget would be fine. Um, reach the first division playoffs in the first season. Continue to challenge for a playoff place. We're targeting a playoff place? Sure, dude, you're right next to it. You got twice as much money as a team in Croatia's second division, so agree. Nothing else for you to consider. What would you guys think about Ireland? That wouldn't be bad. Especially if we get promoted, we'd start building a reputation. The border pleased. Um, da -da 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 -da. The border, I mean, we have so many fun options. Indonesian second division, Irish second division, worst teams in the Brazilian third division. It's electric. So a random team in Croatia. I think my favorite is still probably the Turkish job. The border pleased you've taken the time to attend today. Thank you. It's an honor to be here at Altos. We were his 15th in the Brazilian third division. So this is automatically a much better job opportunity if we can get Altos. I will learn the language quickly. I'm mean, considering my options. I'll stay for six months. Uh, the club's been underperforming for far too long. Are you the right person to turn things around? Um, I'm a motivator. Adopt a positive attitude and it's infectious in the locker room. A happy squad's a winning squad. I'll work with your general manager. I want to be very amenable. Avoid relegation. Well, they're already in 15th. This is like a much more reasonable job offer. Agree? Avoid relegation. Yeah, sure. Proposed wage budget is nearly 500000 a year. This is the best we've gotten in the Brazilian third division. Yeah, I, I like Altos. I really like Altos. If we can get the job at Altos, I think that might be a good one too. I think Altos might be a good job. I The, the ones at the bottom are perilous. You're going to be walking in, in, into a disaster of a locker room.
All right. Um, we just got our first job offer. Fethiye Spor. Spor Kulub in the third division of Turkey. The... Wait, is this the fourth division of Turkey? Hold on. No, this is the third division of Turkey. Okay. I don't really understand what's happening here, but it's important to understand that I also don't need to. This is a very, very good job offer. Um, they want to do a top half finish in the Turkish third division. We have three options We're behind my head down here. We can delay, walk away, or start negotiations. Can I just click on the country? Oh, true, true, true. Yeah, okay, so it is the Turkish third division. I think we delay. How many times can you delay? Twice? Okay, twice. Thank you, Chad. Thank you for helping me here. They agree to the delay. Okay. They've agreed to the delay. We're going to go to the job center. What are jobs that perhaps we have not applied for? Unatico, they're in 14th. Botafogo is in 4th. They'll probably reject us, but I will apply. I already applied. Oh, uh, they both rejected us already. Uh, well, that was a nice thing to remind myself of. I appreciate that. Um, so a team in the 2nd Division of Turkey, 3rd Division of Turkey, I'll say it right eventually, has offered us, piddly little us, a job. This is the Greek second league. That's the top league. There's no chance. No chance. Sarawak hasn't even gotten back to us yet. Persicott. Then we have our three South African job offers. I'm kind of stunned we got a job offer from a third division of Turkey. We applied to the second division South Korean job. We already we already applied to the second division South Korean job. We have two off we we, we have one job offer right now, third division of Turkey. Um who's this uh okay, this guy's so much better than me though, it's kind of hilarious. Uh Milford fans consider Shannon leading candidate. Um, Kim Taewon. Okay, okay. Hey! Black Leopards Football Club have offered me a job in the second division of South Africa. Those kids are sick. Look, the third kit makes complete sense, okay? You look like Pepto-Bismol running around out there. It's awesome. Um, actually, a bigger budget than the Turkish third division uh, working in the South African second division. I'm going to delay it. We want to see what other offers we'll be able to get, right? And then we can make a really educated decision. So I've been told I can delay twice. But we have, an, we have a job offer from the South African Second Division. And Persicott definitely wants me in the Second Indonesian League. They definitely want me. They've requested coaching staff changes. All right, delay. I'm going to delay that decision with the Black Leopards. Persicott, um, I'm going to suggest changes to their coaching staff. Um... Okay, you have two goalkeeping coaches. We don't need two goalkeeping coaches. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of... Well, they're both so bad. Uh, Buddy Satia one. Uh, they're willing to pay for all of my budget. So I'm going to get rid of Lukman Afif. Wawandar I'm going to get rid of all these guys. They're all so bad. 
Actually, that guy's not that bad. Agus Superyanto. So I'll pay 15000 in yeah. Hopefully that's satisfactory to them that I would be changing that amount of the coaching staff, but... Hopefully. I'm feeling better now. We have jobs. Venda FC, also from the South African Second Division, has come around and said, hey, bro, you trying to coach? South Africa wants some Zealand right now. South Africa wants some Zealand. We're starting to court job offers. We've done our first round of interviews. Venda and Black Leopards. Where did you guys finish last year? 11th. All right, I'm going to delay, obviously. We feel comfortable clicking the delay button. We can delay twice. Persicat has crazy money, though. Like, they have $1.3 million in their payroll budget per year. That is the highest transfer in, like, why is it in Indonesia? It's per year, right? It's per year, but they have the most money available in their payroll budget per year. Well, I'm trying to see something. I'm trying to see, like, so they finish, they finished third. Wait, this team, we might have an opportunity to go for, like, promotion to the top Indonesian division, which would build, I mean, I don't know if that's going to build reputation for us at all. The owner's laundering money? Bro, I don't care. No, I'm sure their rules are very strict. Um, uh, yeah, they have registration. Uh, where are we dropping? We're working on it. They have registration. Uh, maximum of zero foreign players. Well, at least they set a maximum. So you have a ton of money, but you can only sign Indonesians. That is tricky. Bro, you have a minimum of 723 players in the registration with a max team size of 33. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. And you got to finish top two in order to go like into this playoff system. You only play 16 to 18 games. That's crazy. Dude, this league is wild. Persicot. All right. Now we need to start looking at the leagues. All right. South Africa. What, what's South Africa? Squad must have no more than three foreign players. Top team wins promotion. Second and third qualify for the Premier Division, First Division playoff mini league. So you have to win the league to go up to the top division of South Africa. There must be three under 23 players in the starting 11. <laughs> and there's registration. Cool. Uh, maximum of five foreign players in the registration, but only three can be in the match day squad. Team size is 99 players. Free players can be registered at any time. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, we're, doing, we're, we're taking in the different leagues that are offering us. So Persicat, I'm going to delay. So we're currently delaying Black Leopards, Vinda, Persicat, and third division in Turkey. So what are the rules here in Turkey? Two under 23 players trained by a club in Turkey. Okay, I thought it was going to be trained by your club. That would be a disaster. Domestic under 21 players are eligible to play. Registration is a thing. Okay. So no players in youth contracts can play, which is a weirdly specific. Bro, it's zero foreign. Yeah, I, I saw somebody say that in chat earlier that the Turkish third division is also zero foreign. It's zero foreign. It's not a deal breaker. It just really makes the job harder, obviously. Yeah, obviously Turkish players are better than Indonesian players, but the league is also better and the team is also better. It's like a two-star rep team that's just interested in us. What a feeling, by the way. We haven't heard back from Sarawak United. What are the rules here? Just tell me it's not zero foreign players. Maximum of seven foreign-based players over the... Oh, that's loans. Am I blind or is there just no rules? I am blind. Okay. Oh, well, there's only one rule. I didn't see the section because it's so tiny. There's only one rule. Maximum of zero foreign players. Oh, I'm loving these Southeast Asian uh, leagues. These Southeast Asian leagues, they're what dreams are made of, dude. One rule, no foreign players. You can talk about Fight Club as long as you don't sign any foreign players, okay? If you get up to the Turkish second division, you can get foreign players. Honestly, would we stay in the same job at that point? I don't know. No! We didn't win. Oh, we didn't get the Finn Harps offer in the second division of Ireland. We're not cool enough for the second division of Ireland, but the second division of Croatia is in play. Solon in the second division of Croatia. The Perva Nogometa Liga. As somebody pointed out to me, I can just go here. The Nogometa Liga. With Solon in it, is, in it is in the second division. Is everybody else professional? Is is every other team professional? Every single one, huh? Oh, no. Duga Polier is not professional. Okay. So there is one other not prof Oh, no, 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 no. Croatia's Minjavski. Okay, the, the first bunch that I clicked on were pro. So there are three semi-professional teams in this league. We would be taking charge of one of them if we took the Solon job. Now give me some rules. No more than three non-EU players. There must be at least 321 players in the playing 11 for the first half of the game. That is... That is a tough rule. Three under 21 players in the playing 11. Not even in the match day squad, in the, on the field. Very specific, yeah. Uh, players under 17 are not allowed to play. Discriminatory. Uh, match squad has to have at least 10 players trained by a club in Croatia. Which means there's only seven spots in your entire match day, eight spots in your entire match day squad that are for players that weren't trained in Croatia. Registration, uh, three players allowed on loan from a team in the same division at one time. 
Adam, thank you for the two months, my brother. Appreciate you. Oh, and you have to win the league to go up? Oh. Look at Solon's affiliates. Oh, yeah, but they're not a, um, they're not a reserve, they're not a number two club. Like, we can get promoted, but having High Duke split as a, uh, a senior club, that would help. So he can get promoted. This doesn't break, like, I, I don't want to play as a reserve team. But Solon's not a reserve team. Where'd they finish last year? Eighth. Yeah, I know. Getting jobs is hard. Boy, they're poor, though. Holy smokes. Yeah, I... I Thank you for confirming they're not a reserve team. But yeah, they're not a reserve team. They just have High Duke Split as a senior affiliate. Delay. All right, what other job offers do we have out there? I mean, I think a delay was a clear move there. I mean, this is the second division of Chile. It's a professional team. That is in dead last, of course. We'll apply. At least this is second division. The Super Retin, that's um, second division. Too good. The number of jobs has shrunk massively, obviously, because there's a batch of those international jobs that are just open at the start of the game. Oh, another fourth division Norwegian team's got the offer on. UC Dublin is um, also here, who are in dead last in the Irish League. They are super in last. They're very in last place. Did I get apply? Uh, wait, did I already apply to Dublin? Or they already did their interview process or something? Okay. I think we've got, we, we still have our, our applications out. I want to see about the South Korean second division team. So we have job offers from the three teams in South Africa. We have a job offer from the third division of Turkey and the second division of Indonesia and the second division of Croatia with one of its semi-pro teams. Pick a save, please. We picked a save. Now we've just got to figure out where we're freaking managing, dude. Hey, Montreal fired its coach. Let me apply and get rejected. The Brazilian job, no. No, Altos said no. Altos said no, the actually not, well, they're in the relegation zone, but they're not with Manaus and Confianza. And the, you know, how many matches they play in this league? There's only 19 matches? Dude, they're doomed. 
There's only six matches left. I swear it says teams play each other once. There are 19 league matches, and if you finish in the top eight, you make it to the second stage. If you finish in the bottom four, you get relegated out of the playable leagues. Oh, wow. We can't take the Brazilian jobs because we'll just immediately get relegated. It'll be even harder to get our next job. <laughs> no, I mean, if you take over Manaus, you have six matches to close an 11-point gap to save the team. I mean, I don't even know if that's possible. I mean, it's mathematically possible. No, it's not a league split, dude. It's not a league split. It literally just cuts it. Well, that was uh, honestly that non-relegated team in the third division was the one I was excited about. We are spoiled with not good choices, chap. This is also, this would be, I mean, they're professional though. This team's professional. Yeah. So I'm just used to teams not being professional. Finished eighth last year. That's true. Let's take a look at a season preview. Oh, they're a uh, projected mid table season preview. They're at ninth. Fatia Spore. It'd be nice to coach a professional team. Leg trigger. Uh, all right. Okay. 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 They just don't have a lot of money. But they're saying the team itself is pretty good. Norway's the best option, bro. And none of them are talking to me. We have one more. I tried to delay and they rejected my delay. So we either take this job or we walk away from it. What is the promotion uh, requirement? Uh, you win the league, you get promoted. If you finish top six, you go to a third place playoff. Winner qualifies for the semifinal. Winner qualifies for final. Winning team wins promotion to the second league. So only two teams get promoted. But you get into the playoff if you finish top six.
like at the division above. I applied to Kvik Halden. They didn't even talk to me. That's why I was so surprised this team talked to me. I was absolutely floored that we got the interview with them. But no, I'm not taking the first job. I'm not taking the first job that walks through the door. I'm walking away. We're not going to Turkey. I'm walking away. We're not going to Turkey. I'm not taking the first job that walks through the door. We're not taking the first job that walks through the door. Side of the Turkish contingent. We didn't even get the job, dude. For the like worst team in Serie C in Brazil, we wouldn't have taken it because of how bad the situation is, but we didn't even get the job. They're automatic relegation, and we didn't even get the job offer. Uh, Milford have approached us. This is... They finished seventh last year. They are... Projected to finish 14th. Because they just got promoted, apparently. There's the Black Leopards, and Vinda's the other one. We've received an offer, I believe, from all three. Milford agree to a delay. All right, we just want to we want to make sure that we see every team that's going to give us an offer. Have everything on the table. For some reason the Turkish team wanted to go off. We didn't even get the Vanaus offer either. It is amazing we got that Turkish job offer. Am I going to reject that? Am I going to am I going to reject am I am I going to regret that is what I mean. Am I going to regret rejecting that? Felipe Arantes gets the Manaus offer. We didn't even get the offer for Manaus. And the Black Leopards offer is here. Black Leopards FC from South Africa. So let's weigh the South African league uh, system. They finished 16th, bro, last year. How did they not get relegated exactly if they finished 16th? Looks like the league has changed literally this year. Because it looks like there were like 18 teams. Why are there four periods? 30 matches in the South African Championship, the second division. Uh, if you win the league, you get promoted to the top division and... If you finish second or third, you go to a playoff mini league or you play the other two teams in that league twice. And then the winner of that league goes up. So there are two spots out of 16 teams. Yeah, what, what is with the four phases? First period. Eight games, seven games, eight games, seven games. Um... No more than three foreign players. There must be three under 23 players in the starting 11. It's just money for whoever's top. Yeah, I, I think that's what it is. I see like the prize money at 31K. Yeah, the rules are fine. They're not, like, offensive or anything. What other job apps do we have out that we were even interested in? There's the three South African jobs. Columbia's U23s are calling. We've got the offer from Persicat. Um, we've got our offer into Levenger. 
Oh, we haven't heard back from Longford Town. We haven't heard back from Longford Town. We can't get a job in Brazil. We're definitely not getting a job in the second division of Brazil if we can't get a job at the bottom of the third division of Brazil. The Indonesian second division job intrigues me. Yeah, there is one team we need to apply to, but I, it'll probably be too late in the process now. Sotra in the Norwegian fourth division. The Indonesian second division job really intrigues me. Black Leopards, because the name is sick, is probably the favorite there. Still no job, dude. Uh, we've gotten rejected. We've gotten rejected a lot, so can I delay? Just vibes, brother. We're playing late. We're playing this like if I was doing this in real life. So if we get a job offer we like and we want to sit down and we want to take that, then we can take that. What's their rep? Oh, it's two stars. That's actually... Oh, and they're professional. The Croatian team is one of only three semi-pro teams. I'm worried we aren't going to be able to get the good loans from High Duke Split because the team is semi-professional. If the team was professional, the Croatian offer would clearly be the best one. But it's semi-pro. Now, I've never had a senior affiliate of good quality with a semi-pro team because normally you can't even you can't even get them. All right, where are we where, where are we going to do to start our career? Let me just make sure that I'm not forgetting about a job application that's already been accepted that we were excited about. Um, we know about the Croatian one. Sarawak never responded to us. It's really just Persicat or Black Leopards because that's the team in South Africa we'd want to manage. Or the Indonesian second division team, Persicat. Yeah, we haven't heard back from the Korean team yet. The Korean second division team. Chonam, where are they? Literally in last. Yeah, they're 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 dead last, so not really super interested. Hey Lou, thank you for the two months.
All right, apparently the mods already did a poll. And somebody said like 400 people voted. So here's the deal. I want everybody, if you're tabbed out, if you're watching on a TV, if you're watching on some tiny screen, pull the chat up on your phone, pull it up on your computer. We are going to have a poll to, to you know, to, to win all polls. Let's toss a poll at the top of the chat. Should we take the job offer from the Black Leopards? Yes or no? That is the only question. Should we take the job offer from the Black Leopards? Yes or no? And we'll get a poll up. And if you, 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 most people who watch on Twitch are always not, don't have the chat right next to them. So get the chat in hand right now and throw a vote in. Get the chat in hand right now and throw a vote in. Should we take the job offer at Black Leopards FC right now? That is the question to you. Tab back in, pull it up on your phone and get the vote in. Get that vote in. This is Democracy Manifest. Hey, you know, we're all about it. I just, I just wanted to see. I didn't say I was going to do what you voted for. I didn't say I was going to do what you voted for. When did I ever say that? I just wanted to see what you guys wanted. I just... <laughs> I just wanted to see what you guys wanted. I am the Senate. You go up to the top of the chat and you, uh, you click on this right here. You click on this poll right here. You drop it down and you vote. Vote your conscience. Do you want the yes or do you want the no? It's an advisory poll. It's an advisory poll. Yeah, it is curious. Oh, it's not showing on Twitch mobile? Ah, I'm sorry for misleading you. I'm sorry for misleading you. I guess you have to pull it up on your computer. I, I, I am sorry. Uh, so it looks like 62% voted yes. Uh, that would be 1,225 of you, 753 of you voted no. Respect both of your opinions. See, we did that vote. Chad, I was already going to accept it. So I just wanted to see if you guys were down with that. Uh, they're offering us a one-year contract to coach Black Leopards FC, a professional outfit in the bottom tier of the second division of South Africa. And that is uh, ideally uh, the first job that we are going to take over. You are looking... At the new head coach of Black Leopards FC in the South African Second Division. Eyebrows have been raised in the soccer world of the appointment of the inexperienced 27-year-old, and he is sure to face plenty of questions when he faces the media for the first time at Tayayandu Stadium. He, pre is, he replaced his previous head coach, Owen Dagama. Andrew Pacano is considered to be the favorite after he was spotted attending the interview, but ultimately they preferred a different candidate. I rejected job offers from Milford and Vinda in the South African League, semi-pro outfit in case Solon in the second division of Croatia, and second division Indonesian side Persikot Tagal. Beautiful. We're in South Africa. Yeah, you think, the, you think we raised a few freaking eyebrows, chat? Getting a job at a professional team? Wait, where was, did they use the hashtag black? That's hilarious. I'd like to formally welcome you to Black Leopards. Thank you, David. Get acquainted with your surroundings. Receive an introductory welcome pack. I appreciate it. Our stadium holds 10,000 adequate training facilities, average youth facilities, basic youth recruitment, decent payroll budget. Uh, although Lidota Duva are enduring a 13-year barren spell, having not won a competition since 2010, the club of a history which they can be proud of, finished runners-up in the Nedbank Cup in 2011. And uh, won the South African second tier in 2001 and 2010 and finished runners-up on five occasions in the second tier of South Africa and runners-up in the Charity Cup in 2002. 
Okay. Do we not have enough players for a team here? Um, just missing the striker there, but uh, okay. Loan obligations. Um, Tabo. Tabo and Quana has loaned in from Sakuna United. I think we have a uh, relationship with them because we have three players loaned in. Tado Sesoi. Oh, boy, we're bad. Vincent Machego in Tabo and Quana. Oh, he's decent. He's got a little advance forward to him. All right, and we want to reach the Ned Bank Cup proper. Joke's on you. I don't know what that is. Become an established first division team. And then we start aiming for top half finishes next year. But I'm only under contract for one year. So we have to deliver or else we are out. Uh, meeting with the coaching staff every month. Uh, I don't need the inner squad friendly, but I'll do the press conference. Supporter profile, 14% hardcore, 38% core. 33.1K uh, followers on social media. No influence on the board, so I guess they don't really matter. Uh, tactical direction required. Understood. I just want to look at my team. Uh, first thing we're going to do is actually go to staff responsibilities and go to advice and reports. Um, I, do I not have a scouting department? Okay. <clears throat> One step at a time. We don't have anybody in the scouting department. Uh, player reports. Uh, it's Moginzi Bobe, technically. Do I have any staff openings? Uh, no, I actually have way too many coaches, apparently. I have six too many coaches. Wait until you find out about load shedding. Uh, what? First to the strategic blackouts in South Africa where citizens are left without power six to 12 hours a day. The load shedding means turning off the electricity supply to ease pressure on a failing power grid. Cool. Awesome. That's great. I love that. A power grid is failing. That is fun. Okay, Peter and Ponda is fine, I guess. Are they getting mad at me? I can't remember what promises I made. So I promised no club job applications for 181 days. That's fine. We've got a winter season, so, I mean, we're going to be into the thick of the season and may maybe that, you know... But we don't have any promises to not remove staff. At least we have no promises there. So I can look at like a fitness coach with five fitness coaching and like try to mutually terminate him for 7K. Financially, our balance is good. Oh, we're already over the payroll budget. Oh, that's good. That's class. But I don't want to do that because I won't be able to rehire more staff. So we're just going to roll with the staff that we have here. We are allowed to hire ahead of youth development. Now, that scares me, but I suppose we should do it. I'm more scared because I'm worried, like, what, what we're possibly going to be able to get out of that. Like, there's going to be nobody. Oh, you know, there's actually two guys. I was being a little too hard on it. Augusto Palacios. See, he heard how great we were. 71-year-old Peruvian. Dude, just spend time with your family. On like honestly. He wants too much money anyways. Mokoena. Okay, well he is much more our speed. Tardis Ravenclaw, thank you for the 29 months. Like, just go spend time with your family, man. I you're 71. What are you gonna do? You're gonna come to South Africa and 
do this. Oh, that's awesome. Have fun with that save. Okay, this guy doesn't want it. He, we don't have the money. Um, wow, they're like all clones of each other, which is just hilarious. Uh, love that. Coaching attributes, you all clones of each other is that way too. Kyle Lamini, I guess. I mean, but you're not going to take the job, are you? Poverty Club strikes again! Jacqueline Lincaya, you know, maybe. This guy wants to be an under 19s coach. There is a chance that we can talk him into this. No, 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 no. No, 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 no! This is, um, this is a sad time. This is a really sad time. If you have 50% salary raise if we get promoted. I'll give you 50% as a salary raise. Oh. All right, I got to go to the job center. Hey, anybody want to be our head of youth development? Like, just anybody at all? Anybody at all, dude. Anybody at all. Just a per a person, a red blooded human being. Honestly, don't really care what color the blood is at this point. Martians, get in. Head performance analyst. Okay, analyzing data. Or wait, it's uh, tactical knowledge, right? Judging player ability, analyzing. Or it's tactical knowledge, analyzing data, judging player ability and determination, but no, we're not going to get that. Seven. Oh, there we go. Eight. Oh, surely not nine. Okay, well, I was kind of hoping there'd be one. Tumi Jakulva. The Kevin, old Kevin Madlala, the mad lad himself. Oh, yes. Well, who has better determination? Do you have better determination? You have five. How about you? You have nine. So you're going to be the head performance analyst. You're going to be the other guy's boss. All right. We're going to get some data about training. So help me. Some data about training from you two. Thank you. Now, our entire scouting department, general manager, chief scout, two scouts, recruitment analyst, surprised we can hire that much, but we will. Um, general manager be a director of football. So we want somebody that can do that job at a level that is somewhere not objectionable. Oh, okay, sweet. Eights. That was a decent dad joke. We'll give that one a B minus. Give you one of those. Nice work, Wittacast. I appreciate the 24 months, dude. Thank you to everybody that subscribed today. You are all awesome and beautiful. Okay, 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 okay. So we're not going to get this guy. But Sean Malaba, we are not going to get either. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and get ahead of the curve here. If you want to be our director of football, if you want to be the general manager, I'm just going to throw that one in the job center. Now, we're going to get ready to negotiating, and we are going to look for a scout, so help me. 
We are going to build a scouting department with somebody who has uh, you match one of two. We can't match one of two. There isn't a single person that can match one of two. I'm offended. I am offended. No wonder we don't have a scouting department. Oh my goodness. Seven, seven. No wonder we have zero scouts. These guys are the worst scouts I might have ever hired in football manager. Which is fair, considering what we're attempting to do here. Nelson Ngati and Telepo Rollin Kawane. All right, how many more? Oh, God. We need another one from somewhere. We need another scout. Finally! Just in the nick of time. Ah, Sive Tawala, but everybody's interested in Sive Tawala because he can actually see. Unbelievable. Struggle is real. Yeah, our payroll budget is already in the negative. We are, we are, we are aware of the situation, and we are taking steps to attempt to rectify that. Okay, and uh, any other questions? Oh, yeah, it was right that time. I didn't change the uh, position. Recruitment analyst. Oh, my goodness. Well, we're not going to be able to pay them, are we? There's a lot of people that just popped up here. Um, judging player ability. Analyzing data is all eight. So, Mafanga. Oh, yes, we actually got a good recruitment analyst. Malungizi Mafanga. Let's go. Okay. Uh, head physio, a physio, head of sports scientists and a sport, a head of sports science and a sports scientist. Okay. So let's start with the physio. Something. I mean, I forgot to switch the thing again, but just anybody. 10, 9, 8. Oh, you're not so lucky, though. Eight. Oh, it's too expensive. Oh, and the head physio, we can't even pay anymore. Come on, Lucky. Come on, Lucky. I realize I was making fun of how bad you are, but if we don't get you, it's somebody even worse, Lucky. Oh, Lucky in set in 20. Okay. <laughs> We need another physio from somewhere. Like, am I only on youth team? No. They're just this bad. <sighs> okay, physiotherapy. We're looking for discipline, determination, motivation. Uh, Solomon Adams is actually doing a pretty good job with that. Something to make them a decent physio. I will right, throw an offer to Solomon Adams for our second physio. And now all we need is sports scientists. I shudder to think what we'll be able to get in this category. Six. Oh, there's 21 people. Okay, so eight. Nine. Um, oh, yeah, that's close enough. Uh, Nazir Imtakulu. I want you to be my head of sports science. Please tell me we can pay them more than the physio. Yes. Yes! Finally, some good news. And then Matome has got good discipline, which is helpful for medical people. Yes! Yes! Come on! It's the only part of our entire staff that we were able to actually sign the person that we wanted. Uh, we don't get a set piece coach. We had to put a job app out for head of youth development and general manager, but we're going to get most of a team in. Uh, but in the meantime, what we've learned is that in our advice and reports section, we are just going to have to work with Bobe as the person giving us advice. Um, yeah, it's just who we're going to have to work with. We're not going to get better advice than that. So let's just look at contracts. Uh, who's our star? Sandile Kumalo. Oh, yeah, baby. 
Oh, yeah, based off the other people I just saw, this guy's got the business. He's a, he, like, okay. He has eight jumping reach, even though he's 6'2, which is impressively bad. But he's technically a very accomplished defender. He's not got a huge bout of stupidity relative to the level, and he's a good athlete. This guy can sweep things up the back of the line. How's our fixture congestion? So it's just this in the Ned Bank Cup. Is this just a pretty straightforward, like, knockout match? Yes. Okay. So there is no. There's 16 teams in the preliminary round of the Ned Bank Cup, and the winner qualifies for the first round. So they just want us to get through that. Do we have our foreign players? We actually have four foreign players, which sucks. Should probably get rid of one of them. We're de I, I definitely don't want to use our foreign spots on two different poachers from Namibia and Nigeria. I have plans, okay? So the cup is a straight knockout, and the league is only 30 matches, so we shouldn't be burdened with fixture congestion. The other guy... Oh, they're both center backs. Mukumela? Why did they both have to be short? Oh, this dude played for South Africa. What? I would love to play this guy at, like, defensive midfield as a ball winner or something and then have a tall guy to put at center back. Oh, I'm sure it's in the fake AFCON. Yeah, you're right. It's in the AFCON where only players from the domestic league can play. An uh, important player who has decided to explore options at the end of his contract, which is great. Really helpful. Um, uh, Ndiza Ndawande. Well, he sucks. I uh, am not a fan of Ndiza uh, Ndawande. Where's all our money going? Literally just those two guys. We have guys that aren't getting paid. Well, those are the lone players, Zealand. Tabo and Kwanka in, 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 in Kwana. Tabo and Kwana, who is all about that speed. Good composure, though. See, why do I have... Why do I have two foreign spots on poachers when we can just loan in that other guy? Especially on this guy, Nkunda Obina. We don't need to spend our foreign spot at Nkunda Obina. Like, what's, what's the point? What's the point? All right, anyways, who are the other guys that expect to start besides Nkwana? It's Tlalitso, uh Patsisi. Oh, he covers ground. He's a good athlete in central midfield who's able to cover ground. I don't hate him. I don't hate him. Yeah, I know there's youth rules. I should probably get refreshed on exactly what those are. You need at least three under 23s in the starting 11. Okay. Under 21 players automatically eligible. Match squad can have no more than four, uh, three foreign. Great team cohesion. Leadership support is obviously bad because I couldn't be more of a nobody. We do have a Malawian, uh, Malawian goalkeeper. I mean, it, it, reflexes, handling, and aerial reach is where you want to put the few things you can put on a goalkeeper if you're going to have bad attributes. So, Brighton Muntali, Rafik Namwera. Now that's how you use a foreign player spot. This dude is a perfect hinge for athletes running around. He can receive the ball. He moves well off the ball to separate and receive the ball. He can distribute the ball incredibly well. That's good. This guy's a great hinge point, kind of mess at Ozil number 10 type, obviously at the level we're at. We work with that. We can work with that. Five teamwork is fine because he's actually arguably the best goal scorer on my team. So if he wants to go for it and use his 13 long shots against the terrible goalkeepers in this league, by all means. Seppo Matsimbi. Uh, honestly, at this level, that's a decent right back. We can live with that. What are we doing at left back? We just not have anybody. Um, Vincent Mache goes the other center back. Okay, so I'm thinking we have a defensive midfielder who's that guy that plays for... And then we start Mashego and the other good center back. 
at center back. Uh, we've got plenty of strikers. We have Mulisa Ramusia. And we have all the exact same striker. So I'm going to take this guy off the transfer list. I'm going to go ahead and exit that uh, tutorial. I'm like Ron Swanson in Home Depot. I know. Um, Ramusi is there. I want to get rid of both these foreign strikers and open up a third foreign spot. I, I have no problem with Brighton Montali unless we find another goalkeeper who's better. Um, but Ramuzia is fine. He's totally passable compared to these two guys. Uh, what about Taporo Matsuku? <laughs> yes, he plays a little defense. He moves pretty well. I love what we actually have going on in the midfield here. I love it. Three dribbling? I don't care. Gotta suck somewhere. We're all not good. All right, so I, I like him. He's an off-ball, space-eating midfielder. And if you, you know... If you've ever watched me manage in the lower leagues, I like space-eating midfielders. This guy, lack of vision sucks. Doesn't play any other position but attacking midfield, which also sucks. But he's all, you know, if anything helps, he also is bad at making decisions. All right, we, I haven't seen any wings. We have one, Makanya. Uh, Bongi Makanya. Just not great, is he? Um... The other goalkeeper is Makavu. Um, Ashudu Makavu. Oh, man, the aerial reach is bad. He's only 5'8". But we need another goalkeeper. Leope Lepalala. Okay. Uh, we have good athletes in the central midfield. Like, we re like, every one of our three central midfielders runs really well. And then we have a guy we can play. We don't have a left back in the entire team, by the way. And then we have this guy, Makora Maloko, who's just hanging out. Uh, anybody on the reserve team? Yes, yeah, so, okay, so there are a few guys. Nobody on the U21s, two guys in the U19s. Wait, who is this? The heck's wrong with this guy? Vigala Malidzi. We've got a friggin' U17, or we got a U19 player who's already, like, killing it. But uh, reserve team, do we, Freddy Matole? Oh, come on. Come on. You can't possibly tell me this guy's not worse than the other guys we're rolling out there. What are you trying to loan this guy out? He's part of the team. Cheddar Rolito, thank you for the prime, brother. Dunu, thank you for the 26 months. Wait, one strength, one jump. Hey, Diggs, thank you for the prime. I honestly didn't think about that, but, but since we're doing like a journeyman, I don't think we're going to do a video like that unless we really bond with one team, you know? I, man, man's is 5'3", 120. That's fine. If you can play. If you can play, that's fine, dude. Uh, okay, so there's another goalkeeper down here who's clearly the third best goalkeeper on the team, Moses Macale. Um, I'm gonna offer Moses. I'm gonna offer Moses out for nothing. Like you can literally just have him for free. I'm gonna put him in there. I'm gonna put him on the transfer list. We do not need a third goalkeeper. He's only recently signed for us. Now, why on earth would we have done that? This guy has never played a match ever. He is a 30-year-old. Why would we pay him money? <sighs> Whatever. Um, Nkosi Mavundla. Okay, this is the only option we have at left wing. Is Nkosi Mavlunda, Ma Mavundla. Yeah, there's no left backs in the reserves. Don't worry. I, I mean, at least at best position. Lucky Indu. Yikes. How long have you been here? Three years? Made one appearance? It is time to move, dude. I will be offering you out on transfer room for zero dollars. You are officially transfer listed. Have a good day, Lucky. Have a great day. Tabong Mabena. Oh, chat. This is gonna be it's gonna be a bloodbath for these guys. But this guy's fine. Uh this guy is this guy's fine. We like his potential as well. 
He's fine. Uh, Tato Sesoi, we've uh, loaned this guy in. Why do we have so many attacking midfielders? For one, these guys all need to be in the senior squad, right? Every single one of them needs to be in the senior squad. Why did I do that? Uh, Makwanzi, Makwanazi, Sanele Zulu. Again, like this guy's fine. We have so many strikers. Makoro Moko. This loan is stupid. I'll we'll just come here. Both these guys are decent, too. Let's just get everybody into the squad. This is the entire club. This is everybody we're paying. We have no left backs. Let's see if we can fire up a trial farm here. Um, Add a condition. Nationality is South African. Um, contract is expired. Um, and international youth appearances, one. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just take a flyer here. International caps, one. Anybody that's not crazy old? Striker Bungani and Delula. Where is this guy playing? City Rovers, Chip. This guy hasn't played in like three years. Four years. He last played in 2019 for City Rovers. He last took the field in 2016 for Kaiser Chiefs. Sounds like exactly what we need. Uh, what position do you play? Striker, great. Oh, but he is fast, though. Hey, look, we're just looking for one year of magic, brother. Oh, a wing, a wing, a wing, a wing, a wing. I know you're old. I know you're old, but. Okay, I was trying to cancel the trial, but okay. Whatever. 38 year old. Guess what he plays? Oh. 38 years young at left back, anybody? Seppo Masalela. Dude's got 51 caps. Smokoena. Like, I don't know what these guys would want. I don't even know. if I mean, they're allegedly interested in a transfer. All right, anybody with one cap? 25-year-old Jamandre Dickens. I love that. I love that for you. Another left back, Tibongo Marane. Okay. Honestly, all you guys, every single one of you guys, except for the guys that we obviously already offered uh, trials to, every single one of you guys come in and trial with me. Some of you might be good. We're just going to start there. Set piece induction. I need to create a tactic first. Fair enough. Um, I'm pretty sure what we have right now is very much route one. Um... Uh, let's see what we can do here. We've got Montali in goal. I just set the team up right now. We have Montali in goal. We've got, is it Mukamela, who I envision playing as the defensive midfielder? This guy is just so classic as center, uh, center back. Kumalo. Um, all right, Kumalo. Uh, Mukumela. I'm going to have both those guys run as central defenders on the outside. We're going to anchor in the middle with the lone guy, Mashego, because he's taller. <sighs> the bus, baby. The bus is parked. 
And then I'd Seppo Masimbi. Masimbi is right here. Full back on support. We're going to be very sound defensively. Don't concede. Life will be good. Uh, Tabo and Kwana, the guy we have loaned in, is going to play as the forward player. I'm going to run him as an advanced forward. I guess Mukamela is the left back right now. And then Mareko is the other center back. There's a flat back five, obviously. Not obviously. It's Mashego and Kumalo. He's defend. He's cover. Kumalo uses that pace to cover in behind. Mukamela's helping out on the left side right now. Okay, now we might have a chance to put together a decent team. We got to use the midfield. Matole. Um, do I dare? Do we dare half back here? Not Matole. Morocco off the team. Where is that attacking midfielder? That foreign attacking midfielder that we liked? There he is. Nuamera. He goes up here. Nuamera just sits in that spot. He receives the ball. He does fancy things with it. I want Rafiq Namwera to be right there. Uh, do we have any target man type player at all? Or are you all just poachers? I remember you all just being poachers. All right, so this guy did not just sign for us. Bathwell Musue. So we should be able to move him. You guys have, like, a high work rate? No. 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 You. How do you all have the same work rate? You are all the same player. This is ridiculous. Every single one of you has seven work rate. Okay. Um. I think the move is to put... Zulu up there, Semele Zulu, and run double advance forward and just keep crazy pressure on their back line, and that's just what we're going to do. Um, yeah, uh, it's they all have seven work rate. Painful, painful, painful. Okay. <sighs> Central midfield, we have a couple of athletes um, that we can make use of, not uh, including Andisa Ndawande. Um, the one day one, it's important player playing time. Maybe somebody we can move. We're going to put him in the transfer room. He'd be very interested in speaking to other clubs. So we'll explore that now. Uh, who are the other, um, central midfielders? We had Pat Sisi. Center mid on attack for finishing five dribbling. I don't think so, but, um, people that eat space up is what we're looking for. So, Patsisi, you are right-footed. Great work. Excellent work on that. Um, They do want to just send him forward, but I'm going to put him on support. And then we need to pick some one of our other midfielders. We could just put my Tole up there. He's um My Tole is gonna be a deep lying playmaker that picks the ball up and then we need the anchor man. Okay. So I like Matole picking the ball up, looking to find a big pass, being a vacuum to receive it. 
Mr. One Strength, One Jumping Reach. Clearly, he's going to be able to hold on to the ball super well, which we're looking forward to. Matt Sala with five crossing. It's all part of the experience. Dump me. Dude, who, who said Jorginho Sim? Are you serious? That is, oh, that's brutal. Sure, one strength, one jumping reach. Jorginho Sim. Yeah, this is just an incredible waste of money. Um, I'm open to speaking to other clubs. I am going to go ahead and put Bethel Muse on the transfer list. He'd prefer to stay here, but he won't get mad if we tell him to leave, which is great. Um, he only recently signed, which makes me super sad. Um, we we're going to offer, we we're going to put him on the transfer list. I realize you just got here, but I don't want to waste my foreign player spots uh, and my money on a couple of, uh, you know, striker clones that we just already have that type of player on the team. So, defensive midfielder. Vusi Mkwanzi can play defensive midfield. Who was the midfielder that I had that could actually play defense? There was there was one of them. Mkwanzi, was it Leplala? It was. Leplala can actually play defense, and he works hard relative to the other guys out there. So Leplala is going to be here as a ball winner. Uh, don't forget the U23 rule. I've already satisfied it with my team selection, very resoundingly, actually. Our team selection currently has uh, five U23 players. We need three. And it has one less foreign player than we need. So I didn't know. I was just building the team, but we have a ton of U23 players around the team. So it's not something that, fortunately, it's not something we're going to need to worry about. We also have Taporo Matsu uh, Matsuku, who is super solid. Makanya, Indawande. Indawande we want to get rid of. And then Lucky Indu we want to get rid of. Aimukalani Chauke. We'll keep him for depth. And this guy, I really want to terminate this loan, but he's already here. Mabena, Tabang Mabena. Of course he recently signed for us. He just spawned in. What would we do if he hadn't just spawned in in Kosi Mavunla? Please don't tell me you just got here too. Awesome. That's tremendous. Uh, offer via transfer room for $0. Anybody that wants Mavunla can have him. We're also going to put him on the transfer list just to see if we can move him somewhere. Makoro Maloko offers a little versatility, which we just don't have through the rest of the team. All right, that's the team we have right now. We're offering out a batch of trials, but set piece induction. Um, we'll do a hybrid of zone and man. We want no post marking. We want to uh, go with a balance between defending and counterattack. We want to work near post. And how many players do you want to leave back defending during attacking set pieces? Balanced and swinger. Generate up some set pieces for me, Mr. Peter and Ponda. Thank you. I will take control. I appreciate it. So when do we start training? Um, now. Okay. When do we start playing matches? Uh, so let me get this straight. Our first friendly was Aston Villa. It was what? Um. Okay, we have a training camp. Teams touring nearby. I don't know where we're touring, but let's just do you. I 
Olympics we're touring somewhere in South Africa All right let's arrange multiple friendly matches and then we'll run three more first team matches here we'll do Ma Lions Gimbot Classic why does it have four okay um very small reputation teams foreign Calgary villains dang it we can make a little money playing the TS Galaxy. We can make a little money playing the Kaiser Chiefs. I'd rather just build momentum, so we'll play some Boab Zero Fake. Sure. All right. Look at our preseason schedule to get us ready for Hungry Lions to kick off the South African First Division. Search starts for head of youth development and a uh, young manager. Okay. Um, recovery or why are we, why are we resting? Why can't I do a match review? Uh, what? Do I need to have some sort of staff member? Oh, that, I need a performance analyst to do the match review. Oh no. Lions rejected the friendly proposal. Not my lions. Oh, we're touring in South Africa. Well, that's very creative. Um, oh, we just need a different team to play against here. Uh, we'll pay you guys five. Bayern FC of South Africa. You guys down? You guys want to play? Staff meeting? I can't imagine this is going to be insightful. We don't have a captain. So Tendo Mukumela would be a good captain. Yeah, I mean, actually, if we look at like attributes and mental and leadership it's him or Molokoto. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, do I have a hierarchy or does that not even exist? Now Mukamel is as high on the hierarchy as anybody. So accept suggestion. Uh, Amukalani Chalke is, <laughs> you want to make Amukalani Chalke the vice captain? I'm going to go with no, we'll figure that out later. I appreciate it. We are going to need to set player training for everybody. Fatsisi uh, to knock ball past opponents. Makoro Maloko is the good passer. So, yes, we want him to play one twos. Develop the weaker foot of our lone player. Beautiful. All right, guys, we're in a little bit of a vibe here. Real, uh, real slim Joey. Thank you for the four months. What is this 4K of general public bots over here? Honestly, sometimes there's just not a lot to chat about when it comes to football manager. But you ever want to see something cool? You ever want to be a part of something cool? Hey, everybody, if you could tab back in to be able to reach the chat again or pull it up on your phone, where are you guys watching from today? Holy mud, dude. Somebody said South Africa, Belgium, Sweden, Morocco, Romania, the Netherlands, the UK, Croatia, Brazil, Albuquerque, New Mexico, Colorado, Switzerland, Sheffield, Hungary, Denmark, Seattle. Well, good morning to you. Philadelphia, Cardiff, Iran, bro. What's up? Hong Kong, Oslo, Luxembourg. Manaus, Brazil. Wait, you just had a really dramatic evening or morning. Norway, Texas, York, UK, Massachusetts, Antarctica, of course, obviously, Bay Area, India, Moscow, Jordan. You know, I actually, I actually used to went to school. I used to go to school with a kid who played in that national team uh, for the youth national team for Jordan uh, basketball. Argentina, Finland, Atlanta, Georgia. So the other Georgia, Copenhagen. Heisenberg, Germany, Long Island. Oh, what's up, homie? Basically New York, right? All right, now here's, here's the other question. Where are you not watching from? And you can't say behind me. You can't say you're not watching from behind me. Where are you not watching from? Uganda, the moon, the bathtub above you. Oh, okay. I didn't think of that one. The toilet. Well, that's unfortunate. I feel like I'm great bathroom viewing. You know, very calming voice helps the bowel movements. North Korea. There it is. Syracuse. 
Congratulations. It's probably already negative 15 Fahrenheit and covered in snow. Loved my time there. But seriously, under your table. <laughs> Dude. Feels there's a lack of depth at left back. You're not the only person that feels there's a lack of depth at left back. Brighton Montali doesn't know Sesoto. That's the language, apparently. Um, I'll send Montali on the course, but Bethel Musue, uh, Maceo, I want to get rid of. So, no. We do not have a reserves head coach. I don't have a reserves team. Do I have any staff on any of these? Uh... No. 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 Okay, cool. That's the way it should be. I don't want to spend any money on that. Ooh. Well, that was awesome, guys. Thank you. That was very cool. Inside my phone, the Kremlin. All right. Inside my phone. Is this the Wreck-It Ralph movie? At alas, thank you for the prime. I told you you guys I'd show you something cool. It's always nice to see where everybody's watching from. I do the second one as a joke, but it is always cool. It reminds you, you know, man, just like what a global and awesome community we have, man. Like everybody coming from other places to like all come together, you know, and like watch, you know, like, like football, man. Hey, Bayern accepted our friendly proposal. Let's go. And most of these guys accepted the trials. Edinigo Mostiaglo said no, but I'm going to add him to our short list for a month and then ask again. We're not going to have a very complex short uh, list system here. We've got a very long way to go. But you're going to be on my short list for one month, brother. And you, Isaac Nlapo, you look like an actual player. Uh, so you're going to be on my short list for a month. Now, all you trialists that are going to overload all of my training, um, shout out. I appreciate you. But the point remains that we just want to see if any of you guys are good enough and would be willing to accept a, a truly embarrassingly small amount of money in order to play for us, um, which, which is the goal. So trials completed. Anybody good? Yeah, so Jamandre Dickens... I mean, it's hard not to improve our team. Let's be honest. It's very difficult not to improve our team. Like, Zama Rambawane is just an immediate massive improvement. Tibago Marane, good. That's a left back. That's at least one uh, left back. These are all, of course, South African players, too. So this is not using our foreign player spot. This is just using the talent around us. Lela Ganolo Masalese. Uh, Tommy Songwene, Sianda Swane, Eliezer Rogers. Freaking love that name. Boom, baby. Another attacking midfielder. I know. We only, we have eight of those. We have eight of the same striker. Uh, we are creatures of habit, apparently. I weren't up the fines a little bit. Just save our club some money. But we can up it that much and they won't get that mad at us. We'll leave our first team in place so at least they can get sharp. Um, unsurprising, I didn't get the job. Wow. Um, introduce yourself to the squad. Hi. Um, I'd like to introduce myself as the new head coach. Uh, I'd like to introduce myself as the new head coach. You might have questions. Looking forward to working with a lesser known head coach. You can bring new ideas into the side. Swallow your pride. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Totally, dude. Totally. Um, absolutely. Yeah. I'm really happy that you're looking forward to, uh, to working with a lesser known head coach as well. Um, I like to talk about our aims for the first division. Everybody. I'm confident that we can show everyone what we're made of and put in a strong campaign. Um, enough ability in the squad for us to avoid being drawn into a relegation battle. Yes. Yes! That's it, guys. We beat it. Uh, now we'll do Code of Con... Oh, Nedbank Cup. I think I can hit this one. Um, 
to reach the Ned Bank Cup proper. Yes. All right, now here's the code of conduct. Looks good to me. Cool. Great response, everybody. No promises. Oh, shoot. I didn't. The menu's different, and my brain just clicked on the wrong thing. I don't have any promises to make. It's exactly the sort of reaction I have of nothing else. Okay, did we go up? Yes! Look at that locker room atmosphere. Oh, baby, we're all the way up to good with better coach support. Oh, he's done it. It's unbelievable. He's done it. Would you look at that, lads? Absolutely sensational. Unbelievable. Okay. Squad transfers. We have these five people listed. We'd love to move them. We are happy that there is at least interest in two of them. Lucky and do. Asking price, zero dollars. I'm um, sorry, I'll read that in a second. I didn't hear it. Asking price, zero dollars. Hope to attract some interest into those guys. And Mo Moses, Ma uh, yeah, this guy is... How is he getting paid 16000 a year? He's so bad. He's so bad. Sets up individual training for youth squads. Sets up uh, general training for youth squads. We'll leave that to the coaching staff. First team individual training. All me. Um, this tactic is the uh, help I'm in danger. That's the up the leopards. That's the first tactic is uh, help. I'm in danger. Um, don't play for set pieces. Don't need to be more disciplined. Early crosses sounds good. Uh, passing to space is important. Take long kicks. Um, no, we'll look to counter. We look to distribute quickly. We'll leave that open to the goalkeeper. Yeah, that works. Not very defensive a balance. I clicked that on accident. Okay. I like that there's interest in Mavunla and Lucky Indu. We might be able to relieve some of the wage pressure that we've created. Is there anybody else with a surprisingly large wage that perhaps isn't around the team? Uh, Mashudu Makavu, our backup goalkeeper, but it's very hard to say, like, I'm going to get rid of our backup goalkeeper. Bongi Makanya. We might switch to a winger system. I don't want to get rid of my only winger. Ramuzia, those two guys, obviously, Maloko, Limpala, Moises Makai, and Kosi Mavunla. Okay. We got this. Hacksaw, thank you for the two months. Joseph, thank you for the four months. I don't know, Chad. I think we're actually going in the right direction here, especially with the interest we've already attracted in a couple of players. I feel like we've got our feet on the ground. We've got a good batch of trialists in. Now the last introductory thing we have to do is meet the media, and then we're, like, off and running. Are you excited to be the new coach? Um, I can't wait to get started. Yeah, I mean, I can't believe I was able to get a job at a professional team. We're going to be able to train all the time and bring it together. Um, you've taken this job without being able to speak Sesotho. Would it be tough to coach the side until you get to grips with the language? And then it says, what? Could you speak a little more slowly in the future? Thank you. That was such a jerk answer. That's what I'm going with. Oh, you've taken the step into the role of the head coach despite just being 27. Critics have suggested you'll struggle to command the respect of the locker room. Um, I hope it won't be a problem that we can really make progress here. Yeah, you don't have much of a reputation to speak of, and many people have expressed surprise that you've taken over as the Black Leopards head coach. I know. I have no locker room support as a result. Can a little-known head coach such as yourself really run a club like this? Uh, some might have preferred a more recognizable name, but they got me, and I'll have to get used to it as I'm here to stay. Wow, okay, no. I don't believe reputation has a big part to play in this. Have you met the players? And if so, what's the mood in the camp? The clubs hit reset. Everyone gets a chance to impress. It's a good time for the players. 
Definitely. All right, good time for the players. All right, we're off and running. Let's get our staff in over the next week or so. All right, I need to not manage this. Uh, let's get our staff in over the next me the, the week or so, and then we'll be good. Uh, Peter and Ponda, if you could uh, if you could take control of that, that'd be awesome sauce. All right. Already have that set. Yeah, we need to hire our staff. We have zero scouting department right now, but we have a job. We have a job. We've got something we can build on here in South Africa. Something we can build on. Playing away against Ubuntu, K I think we're on tour in Cape Town. I think that's where we are. Big vacation. Yeah, all, all the job applications we put in, I don't know if we can pull out of those, but they're all obviously going to be unsuccessful as we have taken the Black Leopards job. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Wait, they want selling team salary contribution. Fernand Kosi Mavunla. I would like to remove selling team salary contribution from consideration. Indu, they all... They also want selling team salary contribution. I uh, know. I would like to remove selling team salary contribution from the offer out to the room. The offers will come. The offers will come. We'll find the moves. I'm happy that we already attracted some interest for our brothers there. I just need my performance analyst so that I can start doing match reviews because our team cohesion is truly abysmal. Like, we're, we're, we're going to need some serious, seriously intense preseason stuff. Got to do the team bonding every week. Got to do the team bonding every week. Uh, I've been asked to name a preliminary squad for the preseason training camp. I mean, I'm pretty sure we can just bring every player at the club, dude. I auto-selected, and it is every player at the club. All right, performance analyst, Kevin Madlala. Beautiful. Head physio, Lucky Msen uh, Msweni. Yes. Matome Latsueo. Yes, that's our sports scientist. Beautiful. Solomon Adams is our only physio. Yes. Nelson Gotti as our scout. Yes. Uh, Mapanga as our recruitment analyst, head performance analyst, Tumi Javuka. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I need to be asking to recommend signing, so. So I go back through these guys, uh, ask to recommend a signing. Ask him to recommend a signing. Look, they might all be bad wrecks, but we need all the help we can get in the scouting department. Hey, have you seen anybody on, like, TV or something? Did you watch anybody on TV that looked good? Head of sports science is in. Our other scout is in. I don't think we have our chief scout yet. What team are you? Oh, obviously Black Leopards FC in the second division of South Africa. Uh, we've started unemployed with no badges or playing experience. Speaking of which, can I work on my first badge? Can I start a coaching course? The board will get back to me shortly. We have 165000 in the budget. We can't afford it. That would be nice. If you let me go in a coaching course, that would be nice. Is this the long? Is this a long term save? No, I thought I'd just start a. Um, I thought I'd just start uh, another save tomorrow. Really? Really? I'd like to further my development by going in a coaching course, please. Although we agree with your reasoning, we need uh, your presence at training right now. Um. I can ensure that all training is fully staffed. There are no coaches with a heavy workload. Would you allow me to take a coaching course? Oh, dang it. 
Um, I can't stress how important I, my protest won't change anything. Show some ambition. So uh, that worked. We're going on a coaching course. I was so just doing that, just going through the motions, but we have started our national C license coaching course. That's our journey that we need to go on. We need to start getting our licenses so we can coach at higher levels. That's the journey we need to go on, and we need to win. And we need to win this season with Black Panthers FC. We have a one-year contract. It's all about doing whatever we can to win this season. New intermediary suggestion. Transfer listed, Sedizo Paggie. Um, he actually looks pretty good. Let's fully scout him. Recruitment meeting? No, well, now that I have a scouting department, I can totally understand why we're doing this. Skip to recruitment focuses. You want to create a right midfielder recruitment focus? I don't even have my chief scout yet, bro. You want me to create a recruitment focus without a chief scout? Let me get the staff in. Um, match review. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, match reviews, match reviews, match reviews. That's what we freaking need, man. Match reviews, team bonding. I can now do recovery because I have a sports science and physiotherapy class, uh, for a sports science and physiotherapy department. So we can do recovery as well. Oh, we're the technology at Black Panthers FC is just leveling up so much. It's just leveling up so much. Oh, okay. We didn't sign our chief scout, which is devastating because there we we are not blessed with a lot of options. Don't make me don't. Black Leopards, oh. Yeah, that's what I said. I said Black Leopards FC. It's an animal, all right? It's an animal. Like, I just got the job an hour ago. They're going to make me sign a dude with fives, aren't they? They're going to make me sign this dude. He has one people management. I can't possibly be expected to do this. There's no way I'm a worse scout than these people. There's no way. Hey, do you want to be my chief scout? Actually, I'm going to delay that. I'm also going to post an ad in the job center because that's insanely bad. That is historically it's crime against humanity bad right there. I am starting a search for a chief scout. Please, please and thank you. Please and thank you. Oh, we lost. Nice. Uh, so for those that have been able to play... Uh, a lot today and didn't spend their first couple of hours figuring out what job they were going to have. Has the injury thing been fixed or no? Has the injury thing been fixed or, or what do you, what, what say you? Uh, no, yes, no, seems less bad. Goalkeeper injuries are still bad. What's the injury thing? Just that injuries are more common, it seems. Uh, they were more common in the initial early access period, shall we say. All injuries are so dumb, dude. Just leave the in-game editor on and just start wiping them out. Gotta love the match we have coming up against Bayern in a friendly. Bayern FC right over there. You know what it is. All right, these are all, uh, oh, Ace Sally circulating my client's name in order to find him a club. I like the fact that you are interested in me. I wish I could just remake this entire team right now, but these guys probably all want uh, too much money. Uh, every agent on the face of the earth can come talk to me right now. 
Cheslin Jampies, a left back, dude. I need two of those. So everybody can come talk to me. Riyad Norden. Yeah, come talk to me. Sizway Linzo. I mean, my goodness. Is this guy actually that good? Because he looks that good. We could completely overhaul our tactic based off the signings we make. 30 to 42. Oh, but he's not. He's at Uppington City. That's your recommended signing is this guy at Uppington City. All right, we're going to we're going to make a short list. We're going to make two short lists. Um manage short list. Wait, new short list. Good. And default will just be free. So this is for players that we think are good. Oh, it just has to update first. Whatever. Uh, Temptation Chewunga? Uh, no, but I appreciate it. Very tempting. <clears throat> You're welcome. You're welcome, America. Alp. <laughs> Alpa Moketsi, uh, I don't turn down decent players, not in this economy. Not with the guys we already have on our team. Richard Matlonga, you want to come on in and uh, hang out? Rodney Ramagalele, this is the dude I need right here. This is the dude I need to just come in and play as a pressing forward next to our talented uh, strikers. Is Rodney Ramagalela. That's that's my guy. Uh in Cebu Zulu from Kazrik Stars. Now Lawrence in Sawe. Let's just we just gotta figure out how good these guys are, right? We need to put together a collection of guys that aren't actually that bad. Danny Venter. Oh, the four work rate though, but man, he has the ability to move the ball, doesn't he? Let's have these guys come in and train with us. We barely have the staff to be able to handle that, but this will be good. Training update. Hey, Zulu, I see you. All right, trial farm. Got some more guys in for you. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Oh, yeah, I didn't set our training. Oops. I didn't set our training. We got to do that real quick. On the last, like... Uh, more mundane things. Oh, it's all already actually set up. That's really nice. Um, who did that for me? Uh, Makoro Makaloko. Uh, we're just going to have you working as an attacking midfielder. You're full back on the right. Goalkeeper. By the way, if you don't do this, if you're looking at this and you're like, why is he doing this? Um, it is... The, the single most important thing you can do for training. The single most important thing you can do for training. I, I don't know what this guy's footedness is. Kanya is right-footed. Okay. All right. Uh, Chalke. Because we need more attacking midfielders. Lucky Indu. Sweet. Guy that we have in the transfer list. Getting it done. Tabang Mabena. Cool. Ramusia. La Palala. Dude's training as a Segundo Volante. That's optimism right there. That's optimism. Hey, I mean, we, we nearly took a job offer to go manage in Turkey. We nearly took a job offer to go manage in Turkey. Just end of the day, felt the call of uh, the wilderness outside of uh, Europe to start our managerial career here. I felt the call. There's our captain, Mareko. Rafik Namwera. This is the guy we like. This is the guy we like a lot. All right, and then Brighton Montali, our starting goalkeeper, is going to work out as a goalkeeper, stunningly. Okay, now we're set up. Now we can go. 
We got a lot of fancy transfer business we're going to try and get up to. Bad decisions? Well, here's the interesting thing. So we have a one-year contract here at Black Leopards. Obviously, our goal would be to kind of get promoted as a manager. Like, we want to get promoted as a team, right? But that's going to be difficult. We're going to have to get some talent through the door. We're going to have to find a way to squeeze that talent into our budget, right? Which I should do with uh, salary adjustments. Uh, okay, that gives us a little salary room. But then, okay, we got our chief scout in. Lord, he's so bad. Oh, I didn't wait for the, dang it, I forgot to wait for the job center. Whatever. We need a warm body at the chief scout position. Oh, Matole got hurt. Two to three days, that's fine. Oh, yeah, 2-0 win. Cook with the new tactic, boys, Cook. Yeah, and we need to get the badges, too. We need to focus on getting our badges. We're studying for a National C. We might be able to get our National B after that. And it might be a linear thing. Like, if we do a good job with Black Leopards, we might be able to get up into the top flight of South Africa next season. I don't know. Unless we're really cooking, I don't see myself renewing the contract with the team for another year. I think it'll be about, like getting the best results we can in the field quickly and then into the contract. Hopefully we'll have a national B license and we'll be able to feel out where else we can manage, build a little reputation, make a move. What leads did you load? All of them! <clears throat> I loaded all of them. I was imagining like explosions and, you know, a lot of stuff. Yeah, this is no coaching badges, no playing experience, starting at the bottom of the barrel, as bottom of the barrel as you can start in football manager. Uh, we were deciding between third division of Turkey, second division of Croatia as a semi-pro team, a semi-pro team in the second division of Indonesia that had more money. Uh, and then we got three offers from the second division of South Africa. And that's where we've gone. No, we had that sponsorship with CyberPower, dude. My my computer is disgusting in a good way. Like in the way that, you know, the cool kids would use that word. My computer is explosively good. Um, Announced new. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, bro, they heard I was in town. Bro, they heard I was in town. New two-year sponsorship of the jersey worth 165k. Give me that money in the balance, bro. I right, can we? Oh, I can't ask to increase the budget. Can I ask to build a new ground? How about a senior affiliate? I'm gonna ask for that. Please work with what you have available right now. Okay. Don't hate on me because I have good ideas, man. Don't hate on me because I'm coming to you with good ideas. Don't tell me I just got here. All right, I'm trying to make this a better place. If we can go get Kaiser Chiefs to send us a couple of U21s, tell me that wouldn't make us a better team. I mean, goodness. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Is that Sangalo money? I love it. Brought to you by Sangalo. I have loved working with Sangalo. Good guys. Good dudes. Now I have a uh, I have like a 4090 I think graphics card. Which is a little unnecessary for football manager. It's a little un like it's a little over the top. Oh, we won again. Oh, it's a great preseason. Tabo and Kwana scored again. That uh Malawian dude at attacking midfield is going to be a wrecking ball. Oh, uh oh. Beat the Don Dole Stars. Just keep beating lower league teams. It's not a bad thing. 
All righty, trials. Eliezer Rogers. This guy isn't inspiring a ton of happiness from me right now. And I'm all about people that inspire happiness from me, you know? That's as much as I can squeeze into the payroll budget. We obviously have plans to unload a few folks. Just accidentally removed a dude from my team. Um... Any old time to keep me waiting, waiting, waiting. How are we, how are we doing on our match sharpness? It's getting better. Fairly intense preseason to get our first team ready to play because we don't have a lot of fixture congestion. So this is about getting 11 guys that can play well. I don't need the depth. I don't need the rotation. We need 11 guys that can go out and win matches in the freaking second division. I wish we could have God's Power Tower. He would be so good for this team right now. So Eliezer Rogers is going to go on the default shortlist for a year, but we are going to end our trials of him. Sianda Zawane. Oh, a dual-sided left back. Do you have an agent? Yes, Fredericks. Oh, scary. He wants to be an important player and play as a complete wing back. Uh, no. And I already entered the thing, so I'm not going to be able to do anything about it. I couldn't ask the agent, which is why I didn't think he had an agent. Uh, Tommy Songwenny. Oh, my goodness. This dude would be a god in our team. He would be a god. Tommy Songwenny. And I can't talk to his agent. I'm assuming he has one. He doesn't. That's good. We don't want them to have an agent so we can explore this sort of thing. His lack of determination is a little annoying. They did just straight up call him dumb, but... He's the type of guy I could play as a Metsala that would pop in late and who works hard throughout a match could really expose people in the second half. So we just want to see what kind of money he would be looking at. We'll come back to that. Kumalo. Cebu Ciso Kumalo would be a great addition to our defense. So the left back's good. Okay, sweet. Cebu Ciso Kumalo. Okay, Longlanolo Masalesa. This guy looks unbelievable, but we're going to have to extend his trial because we don't know for sure. Tabo Molloy. Oh, that's Dees. I love that everywhere he goes, he spends money he doesn't have. Hey, we actually have even more of an incentive to do that here. Is our, oh, it is win by any means necessary. That is our job. Anything we can get the board to stomach is acceptable. Oh, this guy's not good enough for us to splurge. We'll just keep track of him because we know how good he is, but he's not good enough for us to splurge. That's a no from me. How do I decide if a player is good or not? I'm looking at their attributes relative to what I know we already have on our team. So this guy is better than the ball-winning midfielder that we have employed in our team right now, Asavela Mbakile. Star player that may be passed as best. Yeah, and we're trying to give somebody one more chance to play in the South African leagues. This dude's done nothing but play at the top level. But this is not the first position we need to sign at. We need a second striker. 
and we need a left back. And those are the two things we need to sort out first. Debongo Morane. Zama Rambawane. Ooh, he should be a striker available type player, but he's not. Where did he play last year? Uh, he was on a club in the first division, but did not play after not playing at Super Sport United. All right, I'm going to stand up. I had to keep the legs stretched after that marathon. Oh, easy, easy, easy to stand up, actually. So easy. Okay. Uh, good trial, good trial. We got a right wing. Oh, that dude. It would actually be pretty freaking good. And this, like, hey, I don't care if we're young. We, we do have to have a few young players in our team, though. Jerry Imsane, hopefully this guy wouldn't actually want that much money. He played eight matches in the first division with Baroka last year. Sick. Uh, Jamandre Dickens, I was very excited about him when, we, when he came through. And he's not going to be getting worse over the course of the year either because he's like, you know, good. What do you want? Do you have an agent? Oh. <sighs> He represents a ton of players. Ask agent. Okay, we're interested. Oh, my goodness. Jamar Andre's uh, demands for salary are too high. A 75 to 90K. We have to wait. We have to wait on guys like that. The longer they, The longer they don't, The longer they don't do anything, the better for us. So I'm not interested in him. This guy, we wanted to see what he wanted contractually. Tommy Sangwene does not want that much money. One-year deal, right? One-year deal? Yeah, one-year deal. He does not want that much money. Oh, Tommy Sangwene. That's nice. Can you just play copyright music on uh, Twitch? Yeah, because they haven't figured out how to do live DMC takedowns yet. So if you listen to the VOD of this uh, stream, uh, the song won't be there. And if you watch the stream back on YouTube or you watch the live edit of the stream, the song won't be there. So it doesn't go on any of the recorded forms, which is what they DMCA. Uh, that's in case you were wondering how all Twitch streamers listen to copyrighted music on stream, that is how. And if the music industry decides that they want to start doing live DMC takedowns, uh, then that will obviously change and Twitch will sound a lot different. Um, 19.5. Okay. Totally hear you, Tommy Songwenny, but I totally hear you. Um, how about a international cap bonus of $425 and a avoid relegation. Oh no, 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 no. An avoid relegation fee of $500. Good deal. Tommy song when eh? we've got our first guy from our trial farm. I'm liking it. My PC can handle everything maxed out, but is it necessary? No. It's never necessary to have all 485,000 players available in your database. If you have every league playable and every current national team player, it's like 230,000 or something. My Taunton database was about 120,000. This one, with every possible league that we would want to manage in... um was 
like 180,000 as a database. And that allowed us to get a job anywhere, which was awesome. All right, we need decided general manager just to help with scouting duties. So we're going to go for Cabello Sele. See if he wants the job, dude. Last match of our try or our uh, tour of around Cape Town. First league match is in about 20 days. So we have that long to get our trials figured out. Oh, uh, wow. Screw you guys. Okay. Seriously? Everybody was just waiting? A couple of top league teams offering for Tommy Songwene now that I've gone in and offered a contract to Tommy Songwene? Freaking awesome! Boo. Boo. Follow up on your interest in Jamandre Dickens. I look, he has to come down off that price or no. Tawenda Tavenda. Well, he has five concentration and that just feels like it would make me hate myself. So I don't want to do it. I'm currently available and like would and would like to be considered. I love your, how are you 37 with 16 acceleration and 20 flare? He's all fun. No substance at all. Can't finish his dinner. One concentration. But he's a lot of fun. Ketawake Masuku. If we wanted to play with wingers, honestly, honestly, if we wanted to play with wingers, hear me out. I'm currently available and would like to be, I would like to be considered. Filani Sele, uh, you see you're just well-rounded, but no, we don't care. Talent Chawapiwa. Well, dude's got nearly 30 caps for Zimbabwe, and he's only 31. I'm not against it. Attacking midfielder, center. Oh, you're just an athlete who's smart. I see you, Raymond Manana. I see you. Komotso Marabane. See, I'm not exactly about signing guys from other teams. There are plenty of South African players looking for one more shot in the leagues. We just have to find the ones that have slipped through the crap, uh, the uh, cracks. Aaron Johnson. Okay. We'll toss that trial to him. Might need a new goalkeeper. Shane April. I'm just looking for May and June, honestly. We got to level up the game, but you'll do for now. All right, the trial farm go. It is buzzing. We are farming. We are farming. Wait, did that keeper have 15 to 20 pace? Dude's going to get distracted by squirrels. That was good. Brother. Brother. Can you play, can you play wing? Have you ever considered a change in position? Because we kind of need just anyone at winger if we're going to be able to rebuild some sort of tactic to incorporate wingers. Talent, Chawapiwa, and Raymond Manama. Salary demands N.A. N.A. No idea. The winger's a little expensive. Darren Johnson, we have no idea. Okay, well, we're, we're learning. That's the point of the trials is we learn. Yeah, Bayern FC, but South Africa edition. That's who we're playing in the friendly right here. Is Bayern FC, South Africa edition. Um. Oh, that's annoying. I think it was this guy. Wow, I absolutely picked him that we hadn't uh, finished scouting. These other guys, we know how good they are. We offered Tommy Songwene already, but he said no and screw you, so. Did, 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 did. All right, left backs. We're working on Seppo Masilele. Wait, did he just leave and we lost all of our knowledge about Seppo Masilele? That's annoying. 
Tabongo Morane, and then there's Levy Maga too. I like Morane better. He's a good athlete, plays some defense, doesn't have gaping holes in his mentality. You know, like fives or fours of concentration or composure, which is good. Uh, does he have an agent? He does. Uh, what's your wage demand? Demands in terms of salary are too high. All right, we're going to have to wait him out. They're trying to ship that interest around. He rejected me, Masalela. You have an agent, though, right? How much? He doesn't have any interest in the move. No! Seppo, no! Seppo! Oh, we're trying to find our team, dude. We are trying to find our team. Friendly victory. Hey, we beat Bayern. We're good. Uh, we beat Bayern. I, I think that means we win the league. I think that means we win the league. God. He's only 38. He has 51 first team caps. He was probably on that World Cup team that uh, captured our imagination. Oh, 20 youth. Okay. Okay. Fortune Hendricks. Well, he has bad uh, other mental stuff. One motivating, but great discipline. Percy MC, uh, MCB. Very weird head of youth development. But we do need a head of youth development. And Percy MCB looks like the guy. Dude, I thought that was going to be that midfielder. More technical attacking training. Okay, dude, I'll add one in. But we just did a bunch of friendlies. Relax. There you go, boss. Attacking with the wings. <laughs> Joke's on you. We don't have any of those. I thought that was us signing that midfielder over the teams in the top division, and I was about to absolutely lose my mind. All right, we got our new general manager. Um, we have one more spot in our staff we need to fill. I'm delighted to welcome Cabello here. You can recommend a signing if you want. Hopefully it's a free agent, because that's the only thing we're interested in. We're shifting all of our money to wage and trying to bring in some good free agents. Follow up on your interest on... Tebogo Morane. I'm aware that you're like, well, maybe we should offer, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to make you feel the sting of being unemployed, you know? What kind of save are you doing? Well, we started with no badges or uh, playing or, you know, any experience at all. We were able to get a few job offers. We are in the South African second division. We are currently working on our national C license as a manager. And we are also working on somehow trying to build a decent competitive team in the South African second division with the, the limited financial resources that we have been given at the time uh, here. Okay. Hire an intermediary to sell the player. Do you have an agent? If you do, why? No. Okay. Offer via tran. I I'm going to do a re-offer out on transfer room. I haven't, you know, obviously the transferring out process is different this year. So I want to kind of explore if re-offering them out on transfer room is going to do anything. For two of those players, I changed their transfer room offer out to remove the selling team salary contribution deduction that I had. Like I'd removed selling team salary contribution from it. But we've now removed that. Our trial farm is the emphasis now with Black Leopards FC. What's this year's club? See, it actually doesn't work like that. Because we have saw we are trying to grow ourselves up through the, the world. It's the exact same mechanic, it's just called transfer room. It's actually not. The way they explained it is that it's you, you put on a website, but they, they were very clear that it operates almost like the, the sort of transfer room being a real thing that tons of real clubs use, that different clubs will check it at different times depending on their needs. Like clubs and the players they're going after seem to be changing a lot. Um, so they do, the offers don't come in right away. They come in like a few days later, which would be really annoying – at the end of uh, a transfer window when you're trying to do something. 
and you're not able to like do it quickly. I'm very happy that that sort works. Um, under 21 players don't need to be registered. Under 21 players don't need to be registered. Cool. Um, I'll still register that, dude, because we can register up to five foreign players. Oh, yeah, I have my entire squad up here, so we'll just go ahead and confirm that selection. Sounds good. Trial coming to an end. All right, next batch of trialists is... Ripe for the picking. Andile Kamalo. So you look at this guy, and there's no attributes that jump out at you. But he's also not bad at anything, which at the level we're at is freaking awesome. So let's... We're going to come back to Andile at the end of this, this wall. Danny Venter. Oh, well, this is the guy we looked at at the beginning that we were like, okay... He's a very good passer, and he's a good athlete, but he's also 36. And so that athleticism might go down by two or three over the course of the season. Yeah, that last guy's a... I mean, we're not going to sign the center mid that we thought we were getting before. That 34-year-old that got a couple of top flight offers the moment we went after him. Yeah, that flopasaurus on us. What's up, Dargoff? How you doing? <sighs> okay. See a bonga shoyisa. It's good stuff. Um, like the fact that he can play the whole back line. I hate that his balance is four, but he has the size to play center back. Uh, he can play right back and left back and offer something with his crossing. And he's not going to get caught in a stupid position as much as other guys because of his stuff. He doesn't have an agent, so we'd have to just dive in and see what he see what he wants. This is the guy I, oh, I could do very devastating things with this guy. Forty one to fifty K. This is we're we're in the trenches. We are in the trenches and it's going to be very difficult. I wait, it's all in patience. It's all in the patience for us. We cannot jump at the first couple of signings we have the opportunity to make. We just can't do it. Because those wage demands, the, the longer, and all of these guys aren't going to land on teams. And I like this guy too. All of these guys aren't going to land on teams. The longer we wait, the more they feel the unemployment kicking in, the lower that wage demand is going to go. Oh my goodness. This dude would be the best left back in the league. Cheslin Jampies. Oh my goodness. Not only that, he can invert. He can play an inverted wing back. Actually. He actually can play that. He can play an inverted fullback. Uh, but I honestly would probably roll it like, oh, dude, holy smokes. This guy, this guy can play. He doesn't have an agent. Let's feel it out. He wants to be a star player. I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that. I got no problem making you a star player on this team. Um, let's talk numbers, big man. Let's talk numbers. Let's talk incentives. Let's talk incentives. You, you pump out an assist. You pump out an assist, you get 250. 
You get a nice appearance fee. You get a shutout bonus that will raise a little bit. We avoid relegation. You get a nice paycheck, right? You get a nice three hundred fifty dollar paycheck. Um, minimum fee release clause to clubs and higher divisions. Do we want to add that in? Maybe. Well, let's see what he thinks of this first. Okay, he didn't go down that much. Any bigger offer these talks to conclude on a positive note? Well, I'm working on it. I could just start handing out $0 minimum fee release clauses. I mean, that's dangerous. We've done that before, though. Minimum fee, 5 million fish. That won't work. That's way too high. Yeah, the old Bruno Piri strategy where you give him the $0 release clause just to get him onto the team. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. What do you think? What do you guys think I should do? I, I'm thinking minimum fee release clause, domestic clubs, higher division, zero dollars. I don't want to go full release clause, but if they're on a higher division, I'm okay letting him go, and I think that will give him the comfort that he needs to take the offer. Sell on fee percentage. Can they activate the clause? Yes. In the January window, they would be able to activate the clause. Marish, so actually, you know what I'll try is a 50% sell-on. He's 33. We're not selling him for a lot of money. I'll try it on a 50% sell-on. But then in that case, we there's no chance we lose him in January. He is also apparently aware of that fact, so he doesn't give a hoot. Endemic, thank you for the prime. Yeah, I'm going to go domestic clubs, higher division, $0 release clause. He's down for that. Cheslin Jimpy, come on in, brother, 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 man. And Sawane, ah, oh, six composure. He's not a great athlete either. That guy is somebody we can afford to pay right now that is a freaking baller. Devin Saw, oh. There is, n like, high-level athleticism is at a premium in this league. If we wanted to play, have the opportunity to play with a winger late, oh, please have an agent, dang it. We'll explore that. We would need to make sales to be able to turn this team into one that used wingers. Riyad Noradine, this guy is not as good as you'd think based off of what the star rating is, which is why you can't trust the star rating. Sianda and Gubo. He's fine, okay. Hmm. No, I didn't want to lock it in yet. I only lock it in once they go orange. Well, hello there. This dude is nuts. This dude is crazy. He has no business being on our team. Wingers are absolutely back in the menu. He's only 31 with decent natural fitness, so we won't get hit with a huge decline over the course of this season. He doesn't even have an agent. I w he hates big matches, though, so he's somebody you have to baby. But this is a stunningly talented player available to us, and we just have to deal with the fact that he hates big matches. Uh, season landmark assist bonus, he's already thrown that in there. I'm going to throw in a goal bonus as well, dude. Um, I, I want to pay you 19 and a half. Okay. Um, if we avoid relegation, I will also pay you 450 bucks. That sound good? Well, that didn't move you that much. 21? We, we seem to be hammering out some good agreements at 21, dude. I, I'm going to be straight with you. We're hammering out some good agreements on 21. So you should uh, you should be down for that. 2K if we win the league. Well, that actually moved him a little bit. I mean, probably just the negotiation. 
I'll give you a 50% sell on fee percentage. I mean, I'm sorry. This guy's crazy. This guy is way too good to be available for our team, and we absolutely have to get him onto the team and then readjust our tactic in order to get Seizway Mlinzo on the field. He is a match winner. He is a bona fide match winner. Above average athlete, tremendous holy trinity, also able to cross the ball super well. I'd love it if he was an inside forward. He's not, but we're going to make him a winger that cuts inside with the ball. Great off the ball movement. Oh, he's so good. Yeah, okay. So that's where we're going to make sure we get this contract through. So we're going to go 23 and a half. We'll raise his uh, assist bonus landmarks. We'll raise his assist bonus to $120 for every assist he serves up. About 100. Good deal, Sizwe Mlinzo. That's a good deal, dude. Tommy Sungwene signed his deal. He went to one of the top division teams, which, like, can I blame the guy for signing for a top flight team when I'm sitting here like, oh, man, here we go. Wow. Okay, so our two offers out right now are Mlinzo and Cheslin Jampies, which is a left back that will actually allow us to play and then a left wing that is a match-winning type player for us. Do, 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 do. No, 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 no. Okay, they're in our league. They're in the they're in the top league. It's over. It's Jover. I mean, unless he values star player, it's Jover. Unless he values being a star player, it's uh it's never been more Jover. That's all we can hope is the case. All right, we're just going to put our captain in the traditional number 20. I feel like that works. He doesn't have a number preference, and we always give the honorary number 20 to the best player. So we'll give 20 to the captain, who's also arguably our best player. But dang it, man. Uh, recommended signing from my scout or Cabela Sale, my uh, general manager. Not bad with the jumping reach, Sipo Sibia. I'll add him to the good player list. Man, this trial farm, and it ain't easy. Just dig. We're, we're, I mean, he's not as good as the other guy, but also he's a natural on both wings and would provide versatility if we wanted to go with like a wing formation. We obviously would not have a lot of wings to do it. So we'd need the ability to cover on, you know, both sides. It's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Uh, Lisi Mayongo. Oh. But he's on a team because this is a recommended signing. I should have known there wasn't going to be a natural wing back just hanging out somewhere. Those don't exist. Natural wing backs just hanging out don't exist.
Goodman Lamini? Okay. All right. All right, if we played him as an anchor man, which our formation currently allows plenty of. He also would take our set pieces, hits a good corner, hits a good free kick. Drag the 35-year-old up to just hit those shots. Played a ton of years in the top flight of South Africa. Be dropping down to keep his career going, which, you know, classic situation. He's just a good man, you know? He's a good, he's a good man. Sidiso Tukane. Hmm. I am not high on you, Sidiso Tukane. I am sorry. Kaniso Madon, uh, Madoncella. Oh, you're a recommended signing. I'd like to state the availability of my client. What do I look like? A charity? I can barely afford the team I have now. Um, Londe Mila, Mia. Okay, you're going on the short list. I'm not intrigued, especially the amount of money you're asking for. I'm not intrigued. Given to Bendy? Yeah. Appreciate the effort recommending me a signing, but. <sighs> okay, trials are set. Oh, that guy. He was Dees. He was okay. He wasn't our favorite op option. That was uh, Goodman. As in Saul Goodman. What are you high? When he dominates the midfield, it'll be all good, man. It'll be all good. Okay. Hoffman looks very good. Can't really trust the stars as far as I can throw them. Not that I'm throwing stars anywhere. All right, I got to do the bathroom real quick while this goes. We're winning the league. Rules. We should set up a recruitment focus for this. Sorry, this is what I was thinking about. We should set up a recruitment focus for um, loans. Literally none. All right, fair. Loan, top priority. South Africa, just find me loan players. Available players for loan. Loans! Wait, shh, 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 shh. Loans. 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 Oh, loans. You got to have loans. 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 Oh, loans. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheslin Jampies. Has agreed to a contract with the club. A tremendous left back. 
joining up. What's up, Cheslin Jampies? How you how, how you doing? Uh, we are going to be able to play a lot of fun stuff with Cheslin Jampies. Okay, cool. Cheslin Jampies, get him into the registration. Yes. Get him into the team. Yes. Mooka Mela goes over there, and then Cheslin Jampies goes into the team right there. Cheslin Jampies working as an inverted fullback who just kind of... I think he just would stay in that spot. I'm interested to see how that plays in the match engine, but we got to get... He's going to have a couple of friendlies to work with the team and get a feel for it. We need to get a team um, cohesion thing or team bonding in. Oh, we got smoked. Oh, well, they're a Premier Division team. Okay. That's fine. That's totally cool. I, I'm not worried about that. We got dumpstered, but they're in the top flight. I am not listening to Stream Beats by Harris Heller anymore, actually. So we probably should change that. You can always do exclamation point song and it'll tell you what song is playing. Yeah, two weeks until we kick the league off. Yeah, Hungry Lions do the names in this this second division. We have one more friendly, basically. Hopefully, we can get a couple more people in. Hopefully, we can. I really didn't realize how crazy it was that we had the opportunity to sell those guys. Um, when does the transfer window end? Is it normal? Or are we are we were we operating abnormally? Uh, September 22nd. Okay, so there is no transfer window urgency yet in the team. Understood. It'll be very hard for us to focus on the guys that are actually on our bench, but we should. Is they need uh, a little match sharpness go a long way. Morocco. All the guys that aren't free agents, please. Got to do it individually because I just don't trust the other way to do it. Maybe on a small scale we can get it to work before they get all mad at me. So the same day, same time. Yeah, we'll just make those same 19 guys available. Might actually be able to do it very quickly. So we'll do it like that. The Cheslin Jampies is a no, but all the non-free agents. Oh, that is actually really helpful. I can sort out the free agents and then do it that way. Wait, we missed one person. Who did I miss? Oh, Jampies. Well, Jampies shouldn't be... Really, it takes them all off. That's that's great. That's really nice. I can't just be like, hey, man, why don't you just select some for one and some for the other? And I don't have to do it myself, but no. Kubeka. Mamelodi Sundowns goalkeeper. See, he's actually good. That's an actually good player. Press conference. What is this? Oh, the Cheslin Jampies signing. Really good opportunity for everybody. Um, yeah, to provide a boost for everybody. He's going to be playing left back. Already a large team. Well, yeah, I would love to not have some of the players that I have on my team on my team, but that's not a decision that I get to make. Quath Raven, thank you for the prime, dude. I appreciate you. Have we played a match with our new team? No, we had to uh, come to terms and then cry about, you know, how bad some of them were. And, you know, then we had to sign a chief scout that has four judging player ability. And then, you know, somewhere in there, we, we are playing a match at some point. So got that going for me. 
There's the team bonding. Okay. We're on the march. You're going to want to do press conferences generally in this save. Well, I can't imagine I'm going to be getting hit with too many press conferences here. Somebody's trying to steal our fitness coach. That is incredibly frustrating because if he leaves, I will not be able to replace him because we are three over our required coaching staff right now. So we're just going to lose a coach while I'm trying to trial a billion guys. I, I, I don't even want to look. I don't even want to look at what this looks like. This is a disaster. Um, yeah, this is um, fun. Very fun. I'm just going to try and help across the board. See if we can reduce some of the workload in training. Cause I am also, uh, not only am I a terrible coach, I am, Terrible. Oh, I am so bad. Not only am I an absolutely terrible coach, but we have a lot of guys on trial and we do not have a lot of staff. And we are doing some very intense preseason training to try and get ourselves ready to go. So this is a very difficult part of the season. Very difficult part of the season. Hi, uh, recommendations, eight recommendations. So loan rules, loan rules, loan rules, loan rules, loan rules. You, you guys said there were none. I don't know if I believe you entirely. Uh, registration, five foreign players, nothing, nothing, work permit rules. Oh, there's none. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to loan in an entire team. Um, Sipio Sibiwa. This guy plays for the Swallows. He is listed for transfer. So I can sign this guy on loan. I just Well, you want me to pay his whole wage, and I can't do that. But anybody that you don't want me to pay a wage on, I'm so down. Like, no salary contribution to get Sedizo Pagie. We're going to create a new group. Just so we can keep this organized. We're going to create a loan group. Sadisha Pagie, looking good. Augustine Malinoco. Well, I mean, he's freezing at Lamazia. What are we doing? It's perfect. Oh. Morgan Van Ruyen. 34-year-old wide playmaker. It's the guy we wanted to move over. How long is the injury? One to four days, eight, week, eight days to four weeks. The loans are going to go very hard. Vuyasile Tomba Yateti. I think I actually got startlingly close to that. I don't really want him, though. Maxilosi Miango. Be a decent backup left back. What do you want? Nothing, 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 nothing. No oh. Johnny Matole. Oh, what if I loaned him my goalkeeper and sold the one that I had right now? Well, why are they on my loan thing, Okay. If they don't leave, if they don't want to leave, then why are they on the loan thing? All right? It's ridiculous. This guy deserves to be on it. All right, so the loan scouting, very, very, very important. Loan scouting, very important. We can loan in, you know, any of those free guys we can loan in to help our team. Remember, this is all about winning. We're not building for the future. I mean, you should never be building for the future when you're in a club like this, in a situation like this, where it's like, let's avoid relegation in the, in the lowest division in the game and then make some progress, you know? Okay, next batch. Talent Chawapiwa. This guy would need to be really good for us to want him, and unfortunately for us, he is, in fact, really good. Fortunately for us, he has an agent, so we can discuss his interest. 56 to 68,000 a year. That is uh, too high for Challenge Chapiwa right now. Lebolong Meloto. 
Lebogong Maloto, that is very good. Good athlete, good ball control, good crosser, works well, isn't stupid, has the necessary creativity. I love wingers in this match engine, too. Does not have an agent. Is there anywhere we can go to see like a projected how much money they would want? There's got to be a page we can go to. He's been at the club for two weeks. We have to have some basic idea. Before we offer the trial, they're able to do that. Oh, this dude was playing in the U.S., Wingers are, yeah, I love, love, loved wingers in the early axis. I went to the coach summary. It's it's not in there. Scouting report. Analyst report. I don't see it anywhere. Yeah, might just not exist. All right, well, he's a, he's a good winger. Masuku, I'm just confused that this human being exists. What does one concentration even look like in the match engine? I don't even know. It was there, it's just unknown. Okay, so there's no... It is unknown! But I, he, three strength, one concentration, three finishing, but 20 flare, and he's 38 and has 16 acceleration. I mean, he's alarmingly quick for a 38-year-old. Kitakwake Masuku, uh, he also does not have an agent. Um, we will keep an eye on him, you know, it, it, we'll keep an eye on him. They really loved Raymond Monomana, or Monama, Raymond Monama. They really loved him the last time we looked at him, and he's smart, and he moves really well, and he's got a good work rate, can find a pass. Just that five first touch in the midfield is, with the amount of chaos that happens now, the amount of chaos that is allowed to happen now, that's tough. I If there's one thing I don't need, it's poachers. But I appreciate it. Safiso and Bele, that's a good right back. You know the deal. The longer we wait, the better they get. So this goalkeeper does have 15 pace. He he does have 15 pace. Shane April. All right, squad. I'm going to go back to our contracts. Uh, we do have Kumalo and Mukumele getting paid that bank. Inda one day, I would like to offer you out via transfer room for zero dollars and put you on the transfer list. Please tell me somebody's coming in for him at least, because we have not been able to move a single player this whole time, and that has been a frustrating part of it. Five guys, six guys in the transfer list, get a couple of third division offers, turned them down because we didn't want the selling team salary contribution thing, and because the whole point of selling them is obviously to uh, not have to deal with that. <sighs> that really good winger, uh, Cizwe Mlinzo, that I was like, how is he interested in us? He has signed for top flight Richards Bay. We did not get him. So we, we made one signing, the good left back at a position that we desperately needed a player in. So now we have like a little coverage there. Um, Valo, he, he, no, he's just not athletic enough. I'm sorry. Tabong Matuka. Okay, you're going under the default list there. Tabong Sabia, yes. Malonoko, yes. Marcel Dunjinu. 
He's actually good goalkeeper, but the command of area is a little low. Uh, Van Ruyen. This is all the loan stuff that we actually just got in our last thing. Siabonga Gubane. We don't know you, but we will. Wait, what, what's my... Um, hold on. Scouting. Scouting center. Settings. Um, scout a player, offer a trial. We want it that we want that to be two weeks. If I click this little button down here, so we can do that quickly. But if we know the player already, like somebody on my staff already knows how good this guy is, and we can click on them and just look at it, and then we'll add them to the default list because we want to keep track of these guys, so that the ones that end up not on a team, we can um, we can go after because their wage demands are going to be lower. But that allows us to keep the trial farm going at maximum efficiency. Eight more guys gone. Few more guys in as we keep looking at all these players. Hey, man, it's up to him. Whoever you're asking me about, I don't even care. It's up to them whether they sign for our team. Because if that was Lionel Messi, we would sign him. So if the guy's not messy, we're moving on. Does no one under the age of 30 play in South Africa? No, they're just all already signed because there's an under 23 role in the league. At least in our league. I don't know about the top flight. There's our first league game. I don't know if we will have our complete team by then, but there, there is our first league game. It is Hungry Lions FC. I am excited for Hungry Lions FC. It's at home in our 10,000-seat stadium. I am curious to see how many, um, how many guys will be there. Oh, we won again. Uh, we have managed to beat all of the semi-pro lower division teams we have played over the course of the preseason to really build our cohesiveness as a unit. We've got the analysts doing match reviews and, and you know, all that nonsense. We're really, we're kicking it up a notch. We're kicking it up. Captain for the season, Tenda Mukamele. Yes. Um, do we have any leaders? Do we have any leaders at all? Um, Kumalo is a decent leader. I kind of want to make it Kumalo. Sandile Kumalo. I'm not making it Chauke. He's not going to play enough. So it's Mukamele and Sandile Kumalo. They're the star players. They're the guys in the back line that are getting it done. We don't have anybody on quickness. Why? Oh, my fitness coach left. Oh, that's even better. Oh, that's so nice that my, my fitness coach left. That's really nice of, uh, of my fitness coach to just leave. <laughs> now we're even more short staff trying to run a trial farm, dude. It's the most overburdened coaching staff you've ever seen in your life. Oh, that is, uh, that is not good. That's abysmal. Well, there's no easy way to do this. Masalesa. Okay, he's sick. Uh, I think it's clear at this point that we need this guy. Um, all right, well, we got to wait. We got to wait on Masalesa. I mean, I'm going I'm to keep trialing him every two weeks. Uh, yeah, top flight teams are, are sniffing around Masalesa. Because he's that good. He, yeah, that, that guy's too good to be on our team. So let's see if we can navigate an offer. There you go. That. Uh, we need to make some sales to make this possible. We're like, we want to do this and then make other signings along with it. We avoid relegation. I'll give you seven fifty. Um... Sell on fee percentage doesn't seem to really be impacting them. Um, minimum fee release clause to foreign clubs, zero dollars, but I don't want to give you the free pass to go up a league. Okay, he's just upped how much he was asking for. Jabulo Ledwaba, this agent, apparently I have a friendly relationship with, which is kind of nuts. This is going to be tricky, though, because we just talked to the agents, so they're going to need some serious value to be added. Domestic clubs in a higher division for Masalesa. Please. Please. This is a good offer. Uh, 
the value of this deal is 53000 which would wipe out the rest of our wage budget. But we got to go now because uh, the more we wait, the more those big clubs are going to come in for him. And he is a difference-making great player. He is a difference-making great player. Yeah, there they go. We probably we, we should have known that they were just going to come flying in, shouldn't we? Uh, Orlando Pirates is top flight, so we're just not going to get him. That's frustrating. That's frustrating. I'm fine. I feel fine. Ugh. improve the quality of our strength training dude i want to improve the quality of all of the coaching we have on the team but i can't really do that can i the orlando pirates have stolen our players again <laughs> oh, audacity of these men the audacity of these lads dang it man dang it man So pirates do. I suppose that's true. You know what I miss is uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Online. Anybody else play that game way back in the day? Did you ever play Pirates of the Caribbean Online? That was a stunningly good game. Should have buried the treasure. Yeah, I would have, I would have loved to have buried that midfielder in my backyard, but we got the notification the teams were interested, and we went, oh, we'll try it. Nope. It's already too late. He's gone. No, legendary game. There's somebody that played it. Yeah, it was this was a long time ago, but this it was a great online game. It was a great just online game. Umetsala Manti Makoa. Now, do you have an agent? No. Uh. Okay. Um, Bongo Letu Jaiya. See, this is just the type of player I really don't need, but we'll we'll keep an eye on him. The double winger, uh, Selly, who we like, Bagani Niathi. Bagani Niathi. Ryan Dijon. What you ended up being really good, dude. The composure, concentration, and decisions are all obviously bad, but as a ball-winning midfielder, somebody who's just a blunt force, run around and devour the opponent kind of object, what do you want? Important player. Everybody hates big matches here. That's just kind of how it works. Okay. Ryan DeJong doesn't want a lot of money. He's negotiating for himself, so he should be able to bully him, hopefully a little bit. Not a lot. We give him a huge goal bonus because he ain't doing anything. He ain't scoring them goals. Avoiding relegation bonus, which, of course, we're going to pay out a couple of those to different people. And then the playoff mini final of the first division, 1.5K. All right, we, uh, we got a little movement out of that. All right, we're moving and shaking. All right, we're moving and shaking. 21 was where I wanted to get, and I think we'll get there. Oh, Ryan DeJong for 21 million. And then there's Goodman Lamini, who he also liked. Oh, compare. Give me a compare. Give me a compare. Give me a compare. See, they're giving a, oh, well, it's the aggression, dude. It's the aggression and the athleticism that's all Ryan DeJong. 21 million? Wait, um, sorry, sorry. Um, 21, 21,000. We're not quite in the millions yet. We're working on it. We'll get there in no time, chat. We'll get there in no time. We're not quite there yet, but we will get there. Uh, W's, future W's. Um, what do you guys think of this comparison, by the way? Obviously, Goodman Lamini is a very good set piece taker, but I think it's very hard to turn down Ryan DeJong. I know he's not nearly as smart, but he is much better athlete. But, you know, Lamini takes set pieces, but he's two years older. But he has 15 decisions compared to Ryan DeJong's seven. 
But the 18 aggression from Ryan DeJong to the five of Goodman Lamini. Yeah, it's the speed, physicality, defending, vision. I mean, we'll keep track of Goodman Lamini. But DeJong is like, he's he's the guy. Ayanda Michali. Oh, that first touch at three is a nightmare waiting to happen. The 16 decisions is nice, though. If we can find a market for that goalkeeper, maybe we do it. William Twala, not a jump-out-of-your-seat quality player. Jackie Machegua. Um, no. Steve Hoffman, oh, Look at that, throwing out of nowhere. Nine reflexes, though, but great jumping reach and somehow only has eight command of his area. Worth keeping track of. I think he'd be good. And then you could design some fun, like, tactical stuff to try and use the fact that he's got a really good throw. All righty, kids. It's time to get ready for Hungry Lions. Definitely focusing on transition phase. Defending and attacking corners, that's what you think we should do. We're not really a threat on set pieces, so I think we just defend corners and free kicks, and we just work on being able to defend those to not concede set piece goals. Because I don't think we're going to score on a lot of set pieces this year. I think our match prep is all about, we're braced for a low turnout? No. Three hundred thirty in our 10,000 seater? They'll come. They'll come. The, the, look, if we start winning, they'll be there, dude. We start winning games, they'll be there. They will be there. Uh, I'm confident I want the best, ever, you know, everything. Um, we've been working hard, and if the players can carry forward, that'll be all right. Uh, live and die with Kamala's performance. Team is a strong one. Sindele has enormous quality. We didn't get on the same page, get the deal over the line. Oh, I didn't realize who I was talking about. Um, good attitude and training for the last few weeks. Um, yeah, I think we, we made a good signing. I think we have to feel like we've got a decent team ready to go into our opening match here. Um, that is the key. No, no, no! Dude, they didn't even come in right away. They came in later. Oh, one of these guys is going to go, and you know, I just want to be a star player. One of these guys is going to go, I just want to be a star player. Um, let's set our bench. How many spots we got? Nine. All right. Uh, let's remove the ineligible players, the unavailable players. And it is not this guy. It's... Um, Dude, the 30, it is that guy. It's the, the friggin' 30 year old's my third goalkeeper. Can I offer him a mutual termination? <laughs> He's worried by the lack of interest being shown in him by other sides. I, uh, no kidding, dude. No kidding. Uh, Machego. Can Machego play anywhere but center back? Yeah, a little bit. So we'll bring in Mareko as well. Each bench is worth 2.7% of the attendance. Hey, you know, watch it. Belidzi? Oh, this guy's... This kid's the future. I, I can't help but develop the future, you know, when, I, when I'm confronted by the future. Ramuzia. All right, here, uh, yeah, who knows how this tactic's going to go, but I think it'll go well. That'll give us a back three in the buildup. He's going to be on defend. And yeah, I think maybe a uh, Mez over here. Yeah, that'll be sick. I think this tactic's actually going to be really fun. I think this tactic's going to be a rip roar and good time. And we actually, we trained up a decent amount of familiarity with the tactic already. Um, okay, ready to go, ready to go, ready to go. We're sharp as well. We're, we're ready. Um, the match day is tomorrow. 
So hopefully we we iron out any of his fitness stuff that we were working on with our final reserve matches. Um, Indawonde is the attacking midfield sub that they want us to use. But, you know, I don't go with what the man wants. I go with what my heart wants. How many attacking midfielders do I need? Ah! Ah! Yeah, I'm doing great. Feel great. I feel great. If I see one more attacking midfielder on my team, I'm going to lose my mind. It's ridiculous. Well, now you're getting worse. I can terminate the loan? Yes. Tato says, I mean, what's his contract? How much are we paying? Oh, uh, we're not paying him anything. Is there really a point to terminating the loan if we're not if we're literally not paying him anything? I mean, other than training workload, but I would rather sell so many guys on my team than than move move him. Toporo Matsuku. Um Mkwanazi. You can play deeper, okay. Um, Indawonde, I know you're on the transfer list, but you're also the best guy we have down here for this. Uh, Mabena. Did he have a playing time promise in here? No, it's just breakthrough prospect. Okay. Dude, this is, this is crazy. How many of these guys we have? They're all the same player. Again. Imagine your professional team roster is a goalkeeper and none qualified, zero. Up. Oh, sorry. I was trying to read it. I uh, Dridge rollover. They give the 18 months position to start a weekly CK3 stream. I have no problem with that. But I really want to get stuck into this save too. But I, like I said, the more we, the more free time I'm able to free up, that means the more streaming that we're able to do. And the more streaming we're able to do, the more games we're able to play. Yes, we've started with no coaching badges or playing experience, and one of the only jobs we could get was second division of South Africa. So that is why we are here. Makanya is going to take up our last bench spot as somebody that could come in and at least change the tenor of the game. As I, I don't really think any of these other guys can do that. I mean, it's crazy how many of the same player we have. Did you just get here? No, you, you spent your whole career here, and you started here last year. Okay, well, I, I still would like to offer you out for $0 on transfer room uh, and add you to the transfer list. You prefer to stay here, but you'd be open to a move to other clubs? Well, let me find you a move, because you are not playing here. Well, allow me to uh, find you a move. You just signed here? Well, join the club. Apparently, all we did last offseason was sign guys to play in that position. Okay. I did that now so that these two guys, if one is a sub and one is Mudlidzi, we can not play him in this. Okay. Scouting updates. Emmanuel at Lolo. We can just offer a trial to these guys. We don't know how good they are. This is what we live for. Oh, my goodness. Is he actually that good? Do we want to just dive in right now on Upamanyisa? No, Zealand, we stay disciplined. We do not have unlimited funds. We stay disciplined. Get our offers in. I'd like to state the availability of my client. Look, I'll offer you a loan right now. Philippe, that was a B plus. That was a good dad joke. Sorry, we were just making the deal of the century to loan this guy in. Zepaniah and Bacoma. They want no fee to loan him in and no positional guarantee. Dude, I don't even care. He what? What? For free? 
That's thievery, dude. This is why you got to be patient. This is why we've got to be patient. Because they're the, like anything improves our team, right? Almost anything and anyone improves our team. So we just have to be patient. I don't know if I'd be entirely opposed to a second year at this club because I feel like we'd be able to retool the entire team and build out a team that's able to like really do some damage. Oh, wow. We're like the curtain raiser. Everybody else plays on Friday and we get to play on Saturday as the main attraction. That's why 330 people are in the stands. Don't get too excited? What? I mean, it, you get a little excited. It's like a teensy weensy bit of excitement, you know? I feel like that's fair. Yeah, completely free for that guy. That is huge. Just yeah, there's no loan thing. We're cooking. All right. Um here we go. I I like the way that this feels like it should play. We're very direct. We're spamming crosses towards Zulo and Quana. Um Fatisi's probably gonna need a sub and I'm going to compare Ramusia to Tabo and Quana. And yeah, and Quana just kind of got him covered. So we'll run in Quana and then we'll make the subs in the last 30. I think it's five subs, three windows. Um, ask my assistant. He's provided me absolutely nothing to go off of. Uh, that's fine. Cheslin Jampies isn't entirely sharp. Also kind of to be expected. He joined us late. Cheslin gets number 19. Here we go. First match of the season, baby. First match of the save. <sighs> Everybody seems to hate big matches, so I'm going to go with a take it easy, play your game, you know? A little match audio. Come on now. That huge crowd. That massive crowd, you can, you know, you, you can hear them clearly. There it is. The whistle to scare me to death. Yep, found it. All right, time to set the match up. Sorry. Sorry, I should have anticipated that. I fell for it. I fell for it. That's my bad. Um, extended highlights. Zoom in. All right, here we go. We are in the yellow. Black Leopards Football Club, second division of South Africa. We got the job with no playing experience or coaching badges. We're currently taking the classes for our national C. Uh, oh, this is our guy. He needs to be able to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He didn't lock it up. Jampies didn't lock him up. Oh, Jampies is there. Great play, Jampies. <laughs> great play. Great play. We need a target, man. I haven't seen one in any of our scouting, but we need one. Nice save, Matali. Okay. All right. Off we go. Off we go. Off we go. Ref, what do you say a ref for? We didn't do anything. What are you screaming, ref? Ref. Why are you trying to get his attention? I, I, I didn't do anything. I didn't do a darn thing. Nothing happened. Absolutely nothing happened. Kamalo. Lapalala. Patisi. Oh, Patisi's got Zulu. Square it. Oh, it's Nuanuera! And it's Black Leopards Football Club! They've gone Rue 1. It's Zulu. He's squared it up. It's deflected free to Namwera. And he was bagging goals all preseason. The Malawi an attacking midfielder. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Lapalala. He's got champions. Oh, it's champions. What's he doing up there, dude? He's an inverted fullback. Cheslin Jampies. Oh, we haven't really worked set pieces at all. But it's Matsimbi. Matsimbi. 
Uh, oh my goodness, Kamalo might see me. Oh, and it's gone in. We're winning the league. What a dream start to the save. What a dream start to the managerial career of Zeeland Shannon. 2 0 inside 11 minutes for Black Leopards FC, whose goal is to avoid the relegation battle this season. Well, they are playing with ideas and inspiration. Now, I don't think the level of technique is going to blow you away, but that's not what this is about. This is about putting a team together that can friggin' win. Patisi, Namwera, Zulu. Matsimbi, our fullback. Matsimbi to Zulu. Zulu! There you go. We're all about go towards the goal. Get the ball towards the goal. That's what we're all about. All right, our right back, Matsimbi. Ah, that ball was too low. Matole. Mukumela. Cheslin Jampies. Cheslin Jampies. Matole, Cheslin Jampies. Ashley Franks, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you for being a part of the Hammers. Enjoy the bacon, enjoy the emotes, dude. Get out of the crowd, get out of the crowd. Get out of the crowd, we're in a ball. Spread out. They need the Vuvu Sailor sound. Yeah, me. That would be something. Oh, Dondolo. No. La Palala. Well headed free by our ball winner. Where's Cheslin? Where's Cheslin? Come on, Cheslin. Lock in. Good save. Time wasting. 20 minutes in? Absolutely. We are a compact defense first team that plays direct. But our first job is defense and to be in their way and make them work their way through a lot of traffic in order to accomplish something. Our first job is defense and toughness. That's all we need. Kumalo, well done. We have two great center backs. We should be able to have a great defensive season. Zulu. Zulu. Oh! Oh! Zulu, with the fury of his forefathers, has taken the stanchions off the net. Oh, what a goal by Zulu. It's a stunning goal from nearly 30 yards out, and Bajis is unable to even see it. Three nil, Black Leopards FC. Oh, nice keeping. Great work, Montali. Our Malawian goalkeeper. Just go yard, dude. Just send it. Please do not do. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that was like the best goal I've seen on FM24. Now, granted, the standard of general quality in this league means that their goalkeeper is very bad. But what a hit by Zulu. He crushed that. What a half, boys! <laughs> Matsimbi. Oh, Matsimbi! Oh, my goodness! That was our captain. Mukumela, our other star center back. If he could just hit this up the field. Just hit it up the field on the other side. Oh, Namwera. He can actually pass. Zulu, I can't expect our strikers to do anything else than shoot when they get there, but a pass would have been nice. Well, we have certainly inspired something. You know what this is going to do? Do we deserve to be up 4 nothing? No. Oh, my goodness. Kamalo again. 
Kumalo sniffing around the goods again. Sometimes literally everything just comes together. And for for that to be the first half we play all season, for just everything to come together, like Sanele Zulu's cross deflects perfectly to Rafik, uh, Rafik Namuera. Zulu scores a ridiculous banger. We score a corner, right? Like, I... I uh, the tactic is working, though. We have not given them anything easy. We've created a big traffic jam, and we have played really direct offensively. I Not direct enough, honestly, in my opinion. Oh, there we go. That, that's what we need. It's dumping the ball forward because we have good forward pressure, and if the ball gets knocked down, we love the playmaking of our attacking midfielder. Oh, that's a beautiful ball by Matt Simbi. Oh, my Simbi, what a dime. That was sick. Oh, but CC got a little injury. We're get him off. He's got Zulu. Okay. Jampies. Shut up if that went in. I mean, it'd just be the best day ever if that was going in. Like, <laughs> shut up if that ball was going in. All right, M. Quanasi. I'm going to bring in Vuzu M. Quanasi to play there. Vuzu M. Quanasi. Was I right about the sub rules? Yeah, it's, it's uh, five and three. Okay. So M. is the only sub right now. We're going to make a sub for Zulu at like 65. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's a good half right here. Oh, it, was, it was actually... Um, Tabo and Quana, who I haven't really seen on the ball that was tired. So we'll move in Quana. Um we'll move Mukumela to left back and we'll move Vincent Machego in for Cheslin Jampies because he's tired. And then the defensive midfielder, La Pala, is gonna come out and we're gonna bring in Taporo Matsuko. Matsuku. We don't have a lot of depth, but we'll try and use what we can. Fixture congestion shouldn't be a problem. There's one cup competition and 30 league matches to play all season, which makes every single match more important. Which means you're, you're like almost managing this like a friggin' tournament. Like there's only 30 league matches all year. Every result's huge, like this one. Thank you for missing that. I really appreciate it. We deserve to win. We do not deserve to be up for nothing. This is a resounding statement from Black Leopards FC that currently has a sitting top of the table, which is divine. This is a an outstanding performance from Black Leopards FC. You know, everybody, including my own captain in the dressing room, said I was lesser known and that they were interested to get to know me. Do you know my name now? Huh? Nice save, Montali. You can follow my Spotify if you want to pick up the different playlists I'm playing. This is just a... Uh, I usually do like a Spotify radio station because I'm bad at picking individual songs. This is a Spotify radio station off of... Um, Instant Crush by Daft Punk. It's been really good today, honestly. The, the vibes have been sensational. Oh my goodness, Zulu! That's why you gotta be direct. They make mistakes.
Standing ovations. Standing ovations. We are top of the league after a 4-0 win against Hungry Lions with the league watching. What a performance from Zulu. He was the straw that stirred the drink today. Really impressed Patisi. Patisi should be ready by the next match. A week to get over a bruised leg. He'll at least be on the bench. So that's, a, that's, that's fine. You delighted with the win? Absolutely. If I could inject that 90 minutes or so into my veins and make it last forever, I would. What an absolutely sadistic answer. Just insane vibes behind that answer. Uh, first league goal for elite goal for Zulu. It, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was, um, that was a huge boost to his confidence. First win in a competitive match. Always pleasing to win like that. That was a brilliant goal by Zulu, 100%. Frigging brilliant goal by Zulu. Knocked the stuffing out of that ball. Utterly crushed it. And we're into the season. Beautiful. Mulidzi becomes the youngest ever player. Oh, wow. I mean, he totally deserved it. He's, um, very, he's very much actually potentially the target man we've been waiting for because he does have 12 jumping reach. Just going to work on his pace a little bit to get him up to the level that we're at. The standard of the strength coaching. Well, look, I can't hire another guy. So you're just going to have to figure it out. Okay? I don't have any space to hire somebody else. So this is, uh, th this is the standard of the, st uh, the, the strength coaching. Until further notice. All right, this guy should be on the coaching over here. This guy's helping. Um, we do have a goalkeeping coach. He's going to handle both the goalkeeping stuff, so this guy should be able to... Well, that's set pieces, so you should be doing the fitness stuff. Set pieces... Right, I got. sorry, I didn't realize the set pieces was over there on the right, so we're going to need to get a set pieces coach out there. I'm there to try and reduce the workload. I'm just laying out cones for everybody, dude. I'm just out there trying to learn from the other coaches. <laughs> I right, reduced the intensity of the coaching. We've got it up to one and a half stars. Is that good enough for you now? Is that good enough for you? All right, we clean that up a little bit. Yeah, we're, we're up to one and a half stars in the strength coaching, so I'm assuming you should be fine. I mean, that's about as good as we're going to get here. How's our atmosphere now? Let's go, dude! Good locker room atmosphere is the key. Oh, dude, congrats! Transylvum, congratulations! That's for you. Not nearly as much as I should be able to offer, but clap it up for Transylvum for uh, getting past a cancer scare. Thank you for the 23 months, dude. You're about to hit the silver bacon as well. Oh, yes, we got an offer for somebody. But it's the one guy we don't want an offer for. But W's GG, good on you, bro. Yes, all that deserved. Congratulations. That is freaky, scary stuff. Um, Amukalani Chalke is going to get a move on. Just, you know, we have a cluttered locker room full of guys we don't like. GG's sounds inadequate in that situation, but it's what I have to offer. I have GG's to offer. GG's. I'll tell you, there are a lot of people wearing like F cancer shirts and stuff on the New York Marathon too. There's a lot of people running against cancer. At the uh, at the marathon. <laughs> Locker's almost like Chelsea. It honestly is. Our locker room is very similar to Chelsea. So we didn't get Leg Leganolo Masalesa. That would have been awesome. But he obviously decided to go top division and play for the Orlando Pirates tragic but we do have some transfers we're excited about ryan DeJong, if he says yes would be amazing 
And then also Zephaniah and Bacoma is we're the only offer down for him right now. He just has to decide to come play for us. And he would be a huge free loan pickup for the season that would help us really uh, take it to him. Really take it to the league with the Black Leopards. Show up trying immediately. I mean, look, our goal was to avoid relegation. Yeah, Ryan DeJong said no. We're just missing out on all the obvious guys we want to sign because somebody in the top flight of South Africa is like, you know what? That guy actually looks pretty good. It's like, you know what? Duh, why didn't you sign him? Transylvum, thank you for gifting a sub, dude. You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do that, but I appreciate it. Welcome to the Hammers, Hakuma. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Make sure you get in the subsection of the Discord. So you can hang out with uh, all these cool people with the bacon next to their names. Do, do, do. Oh, we have five more trialists coming up. Exciting. It's like my Christmas. Then JDR stars away. Chad ADC, thank you for the year. I appreciate the prime. That does happen. It is easy to forget you have your Twitch Prime, but if you do have Amazon Prime, you got a free $5 to spend on uh, on Twitch, so make sure that you spend it. Uh, Alfred Ndengane. Looks decent. Alfred Ndengane is a very... I mean, but center back is not a position of need, which is the only reason I'm not offering him, because that is not a position we need help at. This dude would be a right back. He has five jumping reach, and I just don't hate myself that much. Uh, Tabongo Macabella, how you doing? Decent player. Fetso Mafanga. Mafanga. We wanted to go with a more... I mean, this dude is a striker playing left back. He is a striker that knows how to play left back. If he was right footed, he'd be an amazing inverted wing back. But a wing back on attack can get, you know, can get all the way in. So we're going to defend free kicks and defend corners. We are never going to work on the possession phase. We are always going to work on the transition phase. We have the way that we want to play. Transylvum! Thank you for the five gifted. Qnomi, thank you for the prime. Sig Dota, thank you for the prime. Thank you for spending ten dollars of Jeff Bezos' money. I appreciate you guys. Just make sure it, it doesn't renew. Uh, the Prime subs don't renew, so you have to remember to spend it every month. Set a little reminder on your phone or whatever, so you can spend Jeff Bezos' money because you want to make sure you do that. Doesn't have to be here, but I appreciate when you do it here. Mwali, uh, oh, I'm so sorry. Mwalimu, thank you for the Prime. Because Illy, thank you so much for the Prime. Eyebrow, thank you for the Prime. Elkanovich, thank you for the Prime. Duncan, thank you for the Prime. Dude, Jeff Bezos is going to look at his bank account and be like, what happened? There are almost 2,200 hammers on the face of the earth. Duncan, thank you for the prime. Voodoo, thank you for the prime. Belly, thank you for the four months. Aaron, thank you for the three months. Arthur, thank you for the prime. Stoney, thank you for the five months. Transylvum just gifted five more subs. Oh, we're popping off. Welcome to the Hammers to Fudge, Wuton, Big Old, Key in the Corral, Tristan Cook, Craspio, thank you for spending your prime. Notler, thank you for the 10 months in the prime. Sekulalala, Sekulalala, thank you for the prime. Fran, thank you for the prime. Hit, thank you so much for the prime in the two months. Bentley's like, screw it, I'll go tier one. The Paco with the five gifted. Oh, baby! Subscription! Subscriptions! Jeff, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Technically done, thank you for the 14 months. Keems, thank you so much for the two months. Pooks, I appreciate the prime. Lacras, thank you for the prime. Atypical Bubba, thank you for the nine months on the prime. Edgy, thank you for the two months with the prime. Dash Rocks, two years. Delta 68, thank you for the six months. You guys are too kind. Fabregas, thank you for the gift. It's up an anonymous gifter threw in five. You're awesome. Rico with the five gifted subs. Thank you so much for making five people's days, dude. 
Thank you so much for making five people's days. Brindo with the five gifted subs. Vinci, thanks for spending the prime. Tyler, thanks for your prime. Appreciate the three. Stefanowicz, thank you for the prime. Roku, thank you for the prime. Cresswell, thank you for the prime. Wardy, thank you for the prime. Stealth Ops, thank you for the prime. And the batches of gifted subs. Jeff Bezos cannot buy his seventh yacht. Great. <laughs> Fantastic news. Jeff Bezos can't buy his seventh yacht. Because of you guys and your Twitch primes. Wallow, thank you for the prime. Kevin's, thank you for the gifted sub, dude. Rodcott, thank you for the gifted sub. Joe with the five gifted subs. Nijar with the prime. Vozich with the prime. And guys, what you get when you spin the prime is bacon next to your name. You get emotes in the chat. You get access to the subscriber section of the Discord where everybody else that has bacon next to their name is obviously hanging out. You also have the ability to be a part of the Hampions League, which is the football manager tournament that we have. Transylvum! Wait, oh, dude, Davey just gifted five. Transylvum just gifted five. Oh, good cats just gifted five. Holy dude. 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 Pagan Dino, thank you for the two months. Bearded Twig, thank you for the eight months. Cameron, thank you for the prime. Big Sig, thank you for the prime. Hoyt One, thank you for 32 months. Holy smokes, we back, you back. Diddy, or thank you for the prime. Drogba, is that you? Nikki with the 40 months going, whoa. Wow. Thank you. Again, Pavinho with the gifted sub. Davey with the five gifted subs. Uh, it, it, <laughs> so many people have access to the bacon. You guys get in the Hampions League. Make sure you're in the subsection of the Discord. The Hampions League post went up this morning. If you want to play in a big online football manager tournament against all the other hammers, if you win, you get a golden name in the Discord forever. It's awesome. It looks very cool. <laughs> It's just a good time. The final happens on stream. So you could end up playing football manager on stream in the final with a bunch of people that are in the chat right now, dropping the subs, rooting for you, which is a good time as well. Uh, thank you, everybody, for this. Transilva with more gifted subs, dude. Oh, my goodness. An anonymous gifter with three subs. Thank you. Delicious banana. Thanks for the prime. Troller dog. Thanks for the prime. Pocketal. Thank you so much for the prime. Transylvum's gifted like 20 subs. Thank you so much. Stoner Bus, thank you for the two months. Holy smokes, dude. Holy. But I, I don't even know how to say thank you for, for, the, for, for this. We just get on and try and make everybody's day a little bit better and make videos that you guys like to watch. This is... Luckily, thank you for the gifted sub. Gabriel Wolick, thank you for the prime. Scott, thanks for gifting the sub. Everybody that's getting a gifted sub, be sure to tag them, say thank you. You can see in the notifications who gave it to you if you see the bacon. Eddie Games, thank you for the prime. Transylvum just gifted five more. That's over 2,300 hammers. Chef, thank you for the gifted sub to Jones. <laughs> Jones, welcome to the Hammers. Chef, thanks for throwing down a gifted sub to go make somebody's day. You guys are absolutely amazing. A round of applause to you guys, to Transylvum for kicking it off. Uh, and for everybody that's gifted subs, that's used their prime. Thank you so much. That is, that is the sort of stuff that allows us to go to the Faroe Islands and make a video about what it's like to actually go to that club that's in the Conference League. We can only do that because of this awesome community right here. I uh, Thank you guys so much for that. Thank you. I've got, like, the best job in the world. It's because of you guys. Love you guys. Fist bump. I know I usually do that exactly at the end of, an, end of a stream, but... I was so excited for today, and it's somehow gone past my wildest expectations. Henri, thank you so much for the five gifted. So Henri, oh, Henri, dude, you've been around forever throwing down five gifted subs, an OG member of the community. 
Mad streamer punches chat. Yeah, I mean, if you cut out the audio, I guess it would it would kind of look like that. Morphe, thank you for the prime. Frankie, thank you so much for the prime. Dude, I think we've legitimately spent a couple hundred dollars of Jeff Bezos' money just like that. And, and hopefully the public service announcement sticks with you. Whether you're watching the stream anymore or not, if you've got that prime sub, you have that Amazon Prime, make sure you spend it because it's just free money for Jeff Bezos if you don't. Drain his bank account. Eagle, thank you for the 100 bits. Hey! Hey! Hey, we got the wing! Oh, it's just a perfect day. Preaching Amigo, thank you for the prime. Gary Neville's going to get worn out at this point. He's going to lose his voice. We got the amazing winger on a free loan. Free loan for Zephaniah Mbacoma. A free addition to the team. Oh, it's just so good. He's so good. He's such a good passer. He moves so well. He's a good athlete. He can, oh, he can score the ball. Oh, he's so good. Are we okay? No. I'm having an emotional moment looking at this guy. He's so good. He's versatile. He can play two positions. <sighs> oh. It's just all coming up. It's all coming up Black Leopards today. Amukalani Chalka is uh, leaving. That saves us about 8000 a year in wage. Uh, dang it, we just signed a re uh, reserves analyst. Well, that is something I'm supposed to be in charge of. So that dude is going to be alone. That dude is going to be working there alone. He's, be he's going to be coming into the office every day doing nothing. I forgot to take control of my staff hiring. I got to go do that real quick. Hold on. Oh, Transil just did it again, dude. With five more gifted subs. Doppelgirl, thank you for the prime. Yakindo, thank you for the prime. Congrats on your silver bacon. Wolfie, congrats on cooking your bacon. Thank you for the three months. Berkshire Hathaway, you've got the idea. I, I think you've got the idea. But Transylvam, thank you so much for five more gifted subs, dude. You are lighting a fire under everybody. You've made like 30 people's days. They can all play in the in the Hampions League. Like, seriously. They can you everybody, if you're in the subscriber section of the Discord, you can submit for SYS. It's all there. Oh no, do Hit five tier threes, dude. I'm giving you every noise I got. That's five tier three subs from one of the OGs of the community. Only, maybe only Otto at this point even knows what I'm referring to, but you deserved it. Five tier three gifted subs. Oh, is this is game African Champions League now, dude. We we, it's all first division here, brother. Somehow we have fixture congestion. Anyways, we've got Pretoria Callies after Uppington City. Dude, the names here are all Trans Silva. Just gifted five more subs. Thank you so much for that. He's done it again. 36 gifted subs to the channel from Transylvum. Five tier threes from Auto Matrix. And for those that don't, Otto is a psycho. Otto has been around forever. Is one of the OGs. And he gifts tier threes because <laughs> you get golden emotes and it's like a higher percentage. He's unstoppable. Psycho Matrix. Oh. All right, guys. I the, the, what a what a way what a way to bring it home because this this to me is one of the most special days of the stream ever. We shattered the record for the most people ever watching the stream. Gillard, thank you for the thirty six months, dude. Congrats on your Z bacon. That's three years.
We broke the record today for the most people ever watching this stream. Trent Silva is still going. Thank you for five more gifted subs, dude. Oh, the, the vibes been off the chain. We just had like a huge sub race and a bunch of gifted subs, which it, it just, it's amazing. It makes so many people's days. I, uh, and you know, every, like every sub helps out the channel. We're going to raid somebody. So stick around for that. We're going to go make somebody's day. We're going to, we're, we're, we're going to go make somebody's day. Trans Silvum just said this community saved me. Uh, you do not need to feel an obligation to pay that back. I am so touched and honored that you've wanted to gift it. You, you've wanted to give so many subs, but we broke the record for the most people watching this stream today. Uh, I think a lot. Of, uh, I, th I think a lot of people loved what we were doing with the save this year. Loved the introduction video. We had a great time. We won our first match with Black Leopards FC, and we're getting our national C license in the second division of South Africa. And I got to hang out with you, awesome people, for five hours. Let's go figure out who we're gonna raid. But what a stream! I mean, I'm gonna be sitting here in this chair probably for the next two hours processing what just happened. Uh, this is all beyond my wildest dreams. Thank you so much for making this possible. Love you guys again. Fist bump again. And I got to open Twitch because we got to we got to go. We got to bring the vibes. We got to bring the vibes somewhere else. Keep it rolling. We just raided RDF and the Lujo not that long ago. I think we drop in on somebody we've never raided before who like just started streaming. I think we drop in on somebody we've never raided before who just started streaming. Transylvum just gifted more. Bifted, thank you for the prime. Transylvum, you are a legend, but I, I think we're going to go for the vibes of just like, we're just going to go make somebody's day. Right? Like somebody we've never rated, somebody who, who just kind of started their streaming career and it's just hanging out and has no idea that this insane, awesome group, that the hammers are about to parachute in, you know? that the hammers are about to parachute in. We're going to find somebody on one viewer and just make their day. Uh, yeah, hey, anybody, just do exclamation point quotes until you find one you want to make a copy pasta, honestly. Anybody can get a copy pasta started with enough determination. Sorry, I'm being meticulous here. Well, this dude, it says he's a casino dealer that likes to play video games. I bet he's got some fun stories you guys can ask him about for sure. That's an interesting job. That's an interesting job to have in real life. All right, get the copy pasta together. So here's the deal, chat. We're going to get the copy pasta together. All right, and we're going to show up in his chat and we're going to start to spam it. Right, just unleash the copy, just spam it. Right, because they're probably not going to have the moderator team to watch out for you. Um, look after yourselves. Chat, don't be weird. Challenge. Um, oh, <laughs> make sure. Okay, we can use that copy pasta because it's hilarious and I love it. But make it clear pretty quickly that it is a raid as well. If some people could sprinkle in Zealand raid as well, that'd be great. Because what we don't want is for the guy to freak out and be like, "Whoa," you know. Um. So. Yeah, like, go in, drop a follow. Who knows? You might end up loving hanging out with uh, with the dude. Bring the great vibes, and I will see you guys on Thursday. Um, I'll see you guys on Thursday and Friday. Um, if we can get videos recorded in the morning, we might try to stream tomorrow, but don't count on it. Always keep your eyes on the Discord for when the streams are coming. I'll see you guys soon. Black Leopards FC, baby! All right, word of the day. I, I mean all that, too. Like, this is a special day. I've tried a lot of stuff, and we've kind of been up and down with the YouTube recently, and when that happens as a creator, you start to kind of question yourself. Are you doing the right stuff? And and today, I, I felt like I, you know, that was it. That was this the right stuff. Cockamamie. Cockamamie. Oh, and then we got a great word of the day, too. 
Cockamamie. Cockamamie. C-O-C-K-A-M-A-M-I-E. Cockamamie is an adjective used to describe something ridiculous, silly, or incredible. Instead of being honest, he came up with a cockamamie excuse about why he didn't return, uh, he didn't turn in his assignment. Great word. See you at the end of another stream for another word of the day.